Hello, hello, everybody. Today, we are going to be continuing our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity playthrough. And dear God, I hope that's not the total amount of bosses in this game. Oh. <laughs> that puts abject fear into me. Oh, no. Utter fear. But, yes, we're going to be continuing. Last time, we went and basically just started the game. We gushed over, like, I like the graphics. The graphics looks nice. The art style looks nice. I just need to, like, remember, like, the voices I gave everybody. <laughs> Meanwhile, YouTube chat says, well, that seems odd. You're streaming an hour earlier, and I just remembered daylight savings time happened. And, <laughs> and I don't know how universal that is. Because for us over here in America, at least some places, I don't even know. Daylight savings time is a weird freaking thing that makes no sense. Everybody does it here. Nobody knows why. Everybody hates, hates it. Basically, in the spring, we spring forward an hour. So if it's like normally 5 p.m., it becomes 6 p.m. for us. And I'm just streaming at the same time, so because the spring forward, I'm streaming at 5, always. So I don't even know how that does it. <laughs> Daylight Savings Time happened this Sunday at like 2 a.m. Or like last Sunday. So yesterday at 2 a.m. I, I don't understand it either. But yeah, again, seeing that boss layout, fear has infected me. Because I like the Mystery Dungeon games, but that feels short. Especially because we got two of those bosses in, like, a single go, a single stream. I hi the How Long to Beat says it's like 23 hours for the main story, but still. Maybe the first two bosses are right quick, because they're like, ooh, story. And, like, the later bosses will be spread out more. I don't know. I'm just fearful. But yeah, if I start streaming at weird times now, everybody, it's because daylight savings time happened in America. We jumped ahead an hour. So I don't know. Things are weird. <laughs> Keep in mind, you also stream for four hours. True, but that still shouldn't mean, because like, let's see. 24 hours-ish for four hours. That's like, uh... A sixth of the game there? Meanwhile, we're one-third bosses down. <laughs> I don't know. The The equation isn't matching up. Or maybe maybe I'm just terrible at math. Uh, I don't know. But let us continue our adventures and build up our paradise. The next morning... Morning, Neon. I still can't believe we got more Pokemon to join our paradise yesterday. And three at once. Now there are five of us all together. And once you have four or more Pokemon, you can register as a team. I, oh, yeah, I just remembered. I completely forgot. We didn't even make a team last time, which I kind of like this. I kind of like that they're mixing things around, like the intro... Like, you do the normal thing, you select yourself, but then you fall, and only then, during the story, do you select your partner. And then here, like, we haven't even made our team yet. We're four hours in, and now we get to make our team. Maybe. I don't know. This, I kind of like it. What organization are we signing up for? <laughs> A team? And again, the player character speaks. Nice detail. They don't do it often, but hell, they do it more often than the other ones. Yeah. It's pretty rough working as an adventurer, after all. So to support Pokemon like us, the group known as Helping Adventurous Pokemon Prosper Institute was formed. Happy. <laughs> oh, that was easy. I just realized both of you and lock are weak to ice. Finally! Ice can be a challenge! <laughs> helping Adventurous... what? I know, it's a real mouthful, so everyone just calls it happy. Happy's around to help make adventuring safer for everyone. 
So when you get at least four Pokemon together, they'll recognize you as a team. And they'll give you all kinds of support and useful items for your adventures. Now let's see if I can remember Dunsparce's voice. Neon, look! Oh, isn't that Dunsparce? Everyone must be here already. Well, let's get this on the road. And Polipper. Morning, everyone. <laughs> and good morning to you. Good morning. Morning, Neon and Locke. Hey, Locke. It looks like Polipper's here of some kind of delivery for you. Polipper gave Locke a letter. It's from Happy. No way, what does it say? Let me see. It says if we write our team name on this form and send it back to them, then we will be registered as a team. We're going to form a team. Yep. I requested an application early, just in case. I never thought we'd get a reply this fast. Sounds good to me. If we could become a team and get team badges, we could take on anything. Okay, then we should start thinking of a team name. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. How about Amulga's Enforcers? Pretty cool, right? Neon, what do you think we would be a good name? You should pick a name for us. Hey, what about my idea? A team name, huh? What should we be? I honestly don't know. Ba ba ba. Because I haven't put any thought into this. Hmm. Because, like, the basic bitch answer is Team Paradise. But I'm not gonna go of that. Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. Because my rescue team, na team name was Team Shining. My explorer team name was Team Lost Light. <laughs> Lost Light and Shining were previous team names. Another team name involving light, perhaps? Maybe. Because it seems like the whole theme of this game is like nihilism and like, ah, distrust. So, what's the, what's the character limit? I don't know. I'm just trying to think. Because hmm. I'm thinking of like some, like something related to light hope. Hmm. I'm just trying to think. Because I don't want to just call it, like, Hopeful Light or something. I want it to be interesting. And just knowing me, the moment I settle on a name, we'll go, and then it won't fit into the character amount. Thoughts, 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 thoughts. I don't know. Because hmm. I I put no thought into a team name, so I'm 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 the fool. I'm the fool here. Maybe a bit of an idea. Because the town used to have, like, the Rainbows of Hope. thing is my br my rider brain is activating so now my brain is like because chat is suggesting like oh hoping light or lasting light but it's like ah we've already used lost light so i don't want to reuse it <laughs> faded hope nah that's too nihilistic we're supposed to be the hopeful paradise people hmm i'm just trying to think Hmm. 
because I want it to sound good. Hmm. This is just me being picky, really. Because I'm just trying to think of a thing. And plus, my brain is now overthinking everything. So now it's just like, I want to have themes to my naming scheme. And... So now, if I go down the whole way, everything could just break and be like, aha, this is my name. Then people look at it and be like, that's dumb. <laughs> because it requires too much. Hmm. I think I'll be a slightly basic bitch and go with maybe blinding hope. Maybe. Because I was thinking, because just like, oh, like uh, the town has like uh, the rainbows of hope that disappeared. What if we named ourselves something like, I don't know, Spectrum Hope or something, but I couldn't find of a fitting blah, blah, blah. Like a fitting way to make it fit without sounding just utterly weird. And this probably isn't going to fit in the... Well, maybe. It only takes, like, four more words. Watch it be, like, one letter off. And that, then it'll look weird. Ah, nope. Not enough for blinding hope, and blind hope sounds bad. Hmm. Team creation, like creating paradise? Mm, I don't think so. Ah, maybe true hope. That sounds nice enough. <gasps> Funnily enough, all my other ideas would have been too long anyway, so... Team true hope. I like it. Well, that is interesting. It's just like, I don't know. <laughs> Truthful hope? I don't think that fit. Because blinding, like, yeah, truthful would take up too many letters. Truthful would take up too many, about the same amount of letters, give or take, as uh, blinding. So we would end up at the same problem where we don't have enough letters for hope. <laughs> Screw character limits. I understand why sometimes there are weird things that can go on with the programming. You just have to work around them. But yeah, I think true hope sounds nice. I had to count, like, the letters of truthful and blinding in my head. Because my brain isn't, like, wired in the right way to count letters fast. Oh no, letters and numbers, the worst thing ever. But true hope is coming here. The true hope. All right then, the true hope it is. I like it. It'll be a great name. I think it's good too. I don't have any objections. Right? That's because it's an awesome name. Amulga's Enforcers it is, then. Hey, you guys haven't been listening to a single thing I've been saying, have you? Granted, you haven't been listening to a single thing we've been saying. And hello to Twitch chat, we are. We've, we've, we've spent like uh, 14 minutes naming our team. <laughs> so it's decided, then. As of today, we are the True Hope. Yes. <laughs> Understood. Oh, fine. Locke wrote down the team name and returned the letter to Pelipper. Pelipper, we're counting on you. Says nothing. Have you already recruited... What's that noise? Oh. <laughs> I was just like, wait, what's that slapping sound? 
Have you already recruited uh, Verizian? Indeed. Last time, we literally recruited everybody at the same time. Because Dunsparce wanted to give a gift to Verizian to try and convince her to be his friend. She basically was very blunt. He ran away, was in a very emotional uh, state, Got was about to be conned by these two thugs, got dragged to the canyon, and then everybody came in, and blah, blah, blah. Did we start early? Our time zone's fucking with me. Kind of time zones, because my time zone uses daylight savings time, and so we leaped ahead, so things are weird. So technically, this, like, if this were last time, this would be four, but because we leapt ahead an hour, it's five for me, because it's weird. Bleh. I didn't think of that. The time things are stupid. Because, like, all my stuff just automatically changes, so I just didn't think of it at all. <laughs> Honestly, it worked, it worked out for me. At least there's that. Congratulations are in order, hmm? Team True Hope. Mm, I'm mm, glad to see you all finally became a team. Quagsire! Hmm, so, to celebrate the formation of your team, how about another mm, present from me? Another present? Really? Come with me, hmm? Everyone is confused. It's a pipe bomb! I always named anything with a team name Dark Star. You can't have that, by the way. It's my team's name. <laughs> I wonder how many people just all came to that same idea. Really, if I was just a basic, like, uh, if I was simple, if I didn't overthink things, I would just name everybody, t all my teams, Team Shining. But because now my brain was just like, ah, this all takes place in the same world, and these are, like, different teams. Now I'm, like, trying to encourage myself to use different Pokemon and name the teams differently. Ah, that's... The bitch! S Scraggy? Quagsire, what in the world is Scraggy doing here? You don't mean your present isn't Scraggy, is it? Mm, that's right. You really were surprised, hmm. But you needn't worry, hmm. Scraggy's on the um, straight and narrow now. What? How? Why? I punished him, hmm. Kinky. What? Quagsire, you. What? Mm hmm. I can't let evildoers slide, hmm. So I punished them thoroughly, hmm. And since he mm, caused so much trouble for you and Neon and everyone, I've made Scraggy give his word to support you all from now on, mm-hmm. I would have expected no less. The famous reformer of criminals, who even formed an organization to punish evildoers, and is said to travel the world for its operations, the one known for three qualities above all others, sincerity, integrity, and rage. <laughs> and rage! It appears that your famous nickname is not just for show, Sir Quagsire. Sir... Sir Quagsire? I don't really get it, but it sounds super awesome. Quagsire, are you actually a super strong Pokemon or something? No, no, I've just mm, picked up a thing or two over the years. Though, mm, I used to be quite famous back in the day, in the underworld. I was quite the dominatrix. Oh, am I bragging? Ho oh, oh. ho. But now's not the time for any of that, hmm? I'm about to, hmm, explain something, so listen well, hmm? Now that you're a team, hmm, you can select which members will go off to dungeons for your adventures. You can send up to four Pokemon in a dungeon at once, hmm? No more than that. I see. And since we have five Pokemon on our team now, Someone's gonna get left behind. Mm-hmm. Whoever's left behind will stay here and take care of Paradise. And, mm, sometimes when you battle in dungeons, you may find that some po the Pokemon you battle will ask you to join your team. If you let those Pokemon join you, your team will keep growing. Mm-hmm. If you want to change who's in your party to talk to me, hmm, I'll sort you out. I actually really like this. 
if this is going where I think it is, and Dunspar, Simulka, and Verizian actually have joined our team, and we can use them. I really like that. That is very cool if that is the way that we're going. <laughs> Now, just check back in on chat. My team in Explorers of, of Time was Exorus with a Meowth and Charmander, but in Sky, Team Aura with Kecleon and Rio. Uh, Rio Lu. <laughs> Quagsire, what do you do in your spare time? Be a freaky little man, apparently. I hope that Quagsire is a torturer in semi retirement. <laughs> the o <laughs> he uses his powers for good now. <laughs> also, even I don't know how to pronounce Exorus. <laughs> Note, Quagsire ran an underground ring for rare candies. He's a drug dealer. Can he deal us drugs? Ah, uh, Plipper. That fast? He wasn't even... Uh, chest time! Is that... Is the happy base just that close to us? That It's not even an hour like. It's from Happy. And it's addressed to us. Lock open the package. It's a chest. Inside is a letter, a team bag, and some team badges! I'll read the letter first. Let me see. Dear True Hope, we hereby recognize your team as proper explorers and present to you these badges as evidence of your teamhood. Let them be an aid to you in your adventures. Helping Adventurous Pokemon Prosperous Institute. And that's the end. They don't even check up on anybody. They just come right in and just like, Hey boss, somebody wants to be a team. Immediately accepts them. Who knows? Well, we already got recognized as a team. That's happy for you, hmm? They don't waste any time. Mm-hmm, and shall I explain about your team badges, hmm? These little badges should be passed around to everyone on your team. There are dozens, no, hundreds of them. How does that fit in there? How did the Polipper carry it all? Don't we just need one for everyone on the team? There are only five of us in True Hope, so we don't need all these. Mm, you should use your extra badges if you decide to recruit more teammates. Your team badges will help you out if you all carry them. Mm-hmm. Like with move growth. Move growth? Mm-hmm. You know the move bubble, hmm? If you keep using Bubble again and again, then it'll become Bubble 2, then Bubble 3. In short, hmm, your moves will keep growing stronger. Really? And move, a, move growth is shared by anyone carrying the same badge, hmm? In short, the whole team shares their move growth, hmm? -hmm. The whole team shares? Like if I keep using Quick Attack, then I would make Quick Attack level up to Quick Attack 2, you know? Then all my teammates who know Quick Attack could use Quick Attack too. Emolga, you know Quick Attack, don't you? So in this example, if, even if Emolga never uses Quick Attack to level it up himself, he would suddenly be able to use Quick Attack too without doing a thing. That's what it means to share as a team. <laughs> I don't need to share anything with you! If you want to know more about any moves, hmm? You should have Scraggy over there tell you more, mm hmm Oh, and if you want to forget moves or mm, remember them, he should be able to help you with that, too. Stop by his shop sometime, hmm? Oh, and the other big thing you sh you'll share now as a team is, mm, experience points. You'll get experience points when you mm, defeat enemies in dungeons. But from now on, mm, even the team members who stay behind, any Pokemon left here in Paradise, that is, will also get experience points, hmm? This is a great, great quality of life thing. Because it means you don't have to grind up, like, teammates anymore. Which, granted, I, like, never use teammates in Rescue Team or Explorers of Sky. I just kept it my main team. But now that there's, like, story people I can make come with me, and they'll, like have move growth and experience points given to them. This is good. I like this. This is great. I just again hope that there are more bosses than the game said there was. <laughs> because this is all going in a very good direction. Ah yes, moves gaining levels. Not only do they get stronger, but gain more accuracy. 
power points, and sometimes it can pass the limit given for the move. Hmm. I would love the idea of limited amount of Pokemon in a team strange because of limited badges, and you have to pay Pokey for more badges. Maybe. But it's more like they don't want too many Pokemon, like too many cooks in the kitchen situations. Basically, the happy regulation. They're like, hey, keep it to only four Pokemon in a dungeon so that things don't get wildy and out of hand. With the amount of times I've used Flamethrower, it'd probably be Flamethrower 3 if my Sky Team was Infinity. <laughs> Maybe. The last benefit of your team badges is probably team skills, hmm? I won't go into any details now, but hmm, just remember that there are many skills that will help you on your adventure, hmm? And just like your move growth, any team skills you learn will be shared by all of you. Mm-hmm, that about covers it. I suppose it's mm, a lot to take in at once. I'm sure you'll pick it all up as you go along doing requests, hmm? You're way too nice to us, Quagsire. I don't even know what to say. Thank you. Thank you for all of this, Quagsire. Ho oh, oh. ho. Okay, everyone. From this day forth, we're a proper team. Let's give it our all. Oi, oi. All right. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Oh, you meant limited amount that you could recruit. That would also be interesting. So you have to be very careful or, like, have... Basically turn, like, badges into a resource. That would actually be cool. Team skills are uh, this game's version of IQ skills, but they work for the whole team. Honestly, I, a nice... Blah, blah, blah. Honestly, I kind of like that because it... Simplifies things again. <laughs> no skills. Ah, well, basic bitch. I think you only get them from treasure chests, and I didn't open them in my playthrough of this. <laughs> so, uh, hopefully that means that they're optional to a degree. Dude, why am I stuck doing this kind of thing in this bogus little... Ah! Hmm? I got it, okay? I just gotta run the shop, right? I'm doing it, yo! Alright then, losers. Step right up. Moves so savvy, so slick, so sneaky. Welcome to Scraggy Savvy Moves. As of today, I'm stuck peddling moves to you, bunch of lousy little... Mm -hmm. Uh, scratch that. I'm uh, honored yet to provide you with all your move needs. Our move needs? What's that supposed to mean? You know, remembering moves, forgetting old ones, that kind of thing. Uh, what's that? You losers want to know how I do it? That's a trade secret, fool. No way I'm telling you. Oh, and I can tell you about leveling up your moves and stuff like that. That's about it, so come on. Get your move on. This is Scraggy Seven Moves, yo. You're in the right place if you want to get your moves on, so hurry it up. What do you want to know, twerp? Gotta be savvy about moves to do what I do here at Scraggy Seven Moves. Come here when you want to forget or remember moves. Sometimes in a dungeon, you've got no choice but to forget a move, right? But a little twerp like you might make the wrong choice and regret it, am I right? Then you're all like, Whoa, Scraggy, that move sure was the best. I'm such a fool. And you end up wishing you could use that old move again, right? That's where the great Scraggy comes in to save this day yet again. Want to remember a move? Then you need Scraggy savvy moves. Don't forget it! What do you want to know now, twerp? Okay, I'll use something lame that you twerps would know. How about bubble? Use it a bunch and it becomes bubble two, then bubble three. You do know that, right? That's what you call move growth. Can't believe I've got to explain this junk. So when a move grows like that, everyone on your little loser team can use it. That means that if one Pokemon on your team powers it up to bubble two, then the rest of you twerps just have to know the bubble move and you'll be able to use the powered up version right from the start, savvy. And the same goes for new Pokemon who join you too. <laughs> like you anyone would. Anyway, just power up a bunch of moves. What else have you got going for you? You done? So which one of you twerps is gonna remember a move? I believe Locke. Poor Dunsparce, he's just smacked on down. Meanwhile, Verizian is up there. Ability justified. Which move do you want to remember? Hmm. It causes a set mount. So actually, I don't know if I want to remember that. 
Yeah, whatever. Come back if you're gonna give me some bo business. Hmm, welcome to Quagsire Assembly. I can help you mm, change your party here and sell you items. Oh, you'll buy something, hmm, hmm. If you find something you'd like, be sure to buy it. <laughs> Basic bastard gangster Scraggy. <laughs> I love how scary <laughs> Quagsar is. He's just a funny little guy. Because now I actually might have the want to, like, grab orbs because I can use them whenever. It teaches the move Return, but what is Return? It damages an enemy. The more you've opened up to your team, the more powerful this move will be. Interesting. But I guess we'll just uh, manage our inventory a little bit. Yeah, I want to manage my inventory. Yeah. I guess we'll withdraw money. We'll check things out in the town. We'll just see. How are you enjoying this game so far? I personally think it's flawed, but it's also a really great game. A flawed masterpiece, if you will. I am loving it so far. It so far is a really, really really fun experience and I am enjoying it wonderfully I, st I do have some worries that it'll be very short even though like I went through like uh blah 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 I went through we'll carry that just in case we'll at least bring hmm, we'll at least bring one we'll probably bring hmm because the problem is if we bring Dunsparce, then he'll might get annihilated. But yeah, I've been really, really enjoying this game so far. The graphics are actually pretty nice. The aesthetic is cool. Like, the story so far seems interesting. I like the characters. I like the vibes. The gameplay seems nice. The dungeons look super cool. I'm just really, really enjoying it. And I cannot wait to play more. I just hope that it's not super short. That's all I'm fearful we're going to head back to town and see it about. You can now go to a bunch of places because of the DLC. Well, two places. I'm thinking that it is time for me to resume my training. I shall go to some harsh dungeon. I feel as if I would be able to grow if I do so. Neon, you and your friends should carry out your request. We will both do our best. Is that not all that is, is right? He said, I don't know what he meant by that. You will carry out your request. Oh, Box Buster is open, but I have no boxes. I have no boxes. If you play the next PMD game, you want every pink round Pokemon there is. Maybe, I don't know. I know Super exists. I think that's the only other one. Welcome to the Cacleon shop. But I'm definitely going to play Super eventually. Hmm, boost special attack. Which might be good for me, because I think all of mine are... Blah, blah, blah. I should check out my moves. Ba, 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 ba. I'm really liking everything. Let's see. Vine Whip is physical, so nope, not special. Decide the party members and let's go take care of a request or two. You change party members by talking to Quagsire, remember? Listen, this finally happened! The shop is finally totally ready for business. Back to busting boxes, yeah! Yeah! I'm the box buster. Bring treasure boxes and I'll bust them open for 150. The name's Rapardos. I open treasure boxes with my head. Or more like I bust them up. <laughs> I don't care what's inside, so I'll give you whatever's in the box. I just get a charge out of busting them open. Come on, hand over your treasure boxes. Don't keep me waiting here. Just so you know, you might find something called a team skill in a treasure box. You won't want to miss out on one of those. The super effective skill of the recovery skill will be a big help if you learn them for your adventures isn't hard either. Just open a treasure box, that's it. And team skills will be shared by everybody on your team, you know that? In other words, once you've learned a skill, everyone in your team will know it. Handy, right? You want something else? I don't have any treasure boxes, though. Ooh, Super is my personal favorite. Yep, Super, you need every Kirby Pokemon there is. <laughs> 
I can't wait to give Super a shot as well, because I, I played a little bit of it, and I remember enjoying it. The boss ain't here, is he? I don't know where he is. Seem to be in a hurry, though. Ah, Neon, hello there. Another day, another request, right? Good luck out there. I like these characters. Oh, you're still at him. How's the request work going then? Mind you stop by picking a request from the board over there. You'll see it in your menu after that. Easy enough, eh? You want to know how to go out on a request? You just pick up on talk to Azumarill. She'll open the request gate for you. You can get to wherever you need to go if you want to go through there. I'll do my best if you put me in the party. But that doesn't mean I won't do a great job if you leave me in charge of paradise. Come on, Neon, let's hurry up and go do some requests. If you put me in the party, I'll work my butt off. There really are so many Pokemon in need of a bit of help. Doing the requests from the board is such a great help to everyone. I'm always behind all of you. You do your best. I hope maybe she'll open up to be like the Spinda Cafe character. I'm Trubbish, Trub Trub. A wandering world traveler, Trub Trub. I'm not really familiar with this area, Trub Trub. So I just decided to check out into the inn, Trub Trub. I think that this is a very fine inn, Trub Trub. But I just can't relax unless I'm in a truly filthy place, Trub Trub. Fair enough. <laughs> Weird Pokemon all over. Are you still opening up? Oh, hey, who are you? Good afternoon, Neon. I'm just here to do my shopping for dinner. Children have such a hearty appetite, so it seems I'm always having to buy more. I don't think we've ever met. <laughs> my apologies, dear customer. The glorious gold exchange! Glorious gold! He's still not quite ready for business. But that still doesn't mean you can sell your sparklies to anyone else. No, you must not hand them over to anyone else. You've been warned! <laughs> I already like that guy. I really like the this all this place just has so much personality, I love it. No matter how many times I see it, I never grow tired of this view. This is a joy. I really like this. The vibes, man! So good! Gold bars, the most broken currency ever. Then thank God I can't sell them. Welcome to the Kecleon shop. I guess I'll go ahead and, like, buy a Reviver Seed. Wait. Let me see. I forget if I have, like, Reviver Seeds or things in my... My box. Nope, I could have sworn that I had a Reviver Seed. Did I accidentally use it? Did somebody die? But we definitely need Reviva Seeds. We definitely need heals. Anything else you'd like to buy? And then I guess I'll just buy any Oran Berries I find for now, because I need to heal. Because I don't want to use Verizian too just yet. I guess we'll go Amulga Dunsparce. Because we can. Mm, welcome to Quagsire Assembly. Well, first things first, we'll shop for any more Oran Berries you've got there, man. Uh, no Oran Berries. Sadness. And we're too low for the other Reviver Seed. So I guess we shall edit the party. Adventure hint. You can take up to three other Pokemon along with you on your adventure. Choose a teammate and select Join Team. To add it to your party, select Stand By. And that Pokemon will remain in paradise and rest. Wow, Mocha's actually more powerful than us. Static may afflict a paralysis status condition on an attacker. That'd be nice. Nose, Thundershock, Quick Attack, Spark, and Double Team. 
Very cool. Join team. And also you, because I want to level you up some. Then again, I guess it doesn't really matter. You'll, le you'll gain levels, even if you're not there. Ah, you know what? Let's bring Verizian with us. Would this be the party? Yes, please. Everybody, it's your turn. Hmm? Do you need anything else? Hmm? Good luck on your adventures. Hmm? Now I get to choose. Let's see. Topical bottle. Difficulty one, obtain the topical bottle. Get a zinc band and a reviver band and a hundred, I think. Yeah. Interesting. I hurt myself and can't move in Stony Cave. I do not care about. Oh, obtain particular key. And then Forest Grotto. Famous seed? Obtain it and give it to them. Hmm, special band, heal, reviver. Desolate Canyon, Zinc and Heal, Heal and Defense. Obtain Trendy Specs. So many of these Pokemon just... <laughs> you want Topical Gift! Very interesting. In terms of the TF2 original soundtrack, Medic is my favorite. I am partial to, I think it's called Rocket Jump Waltz. Rocket Jump Waltz is very, very nice. Hmm. A zinc band, a defense scarf might be nice. Defense, power and defense, lost and hazy pass. Ooh, rescue superior? I lost my map. I got blew away. Uh, wind blew away my map. I got lost. Please help me. You know what? I want to help. I want to help a fellow. Oh, you can save them for later. Oh, or go right away. So more than likely, this is, I would like to select it, but I want to go do other things. And go right away is, I want to immediately begin. So, you're gonna head off for the job? I lost my map? I also kind of like that. Even though, really miss the ability to do multiple for one dungeon. Like, I wouldn't mind it if it was just, you can only select multiple from a single dungeon. And then they'll send you to that dungeon, you do it, all that are there. I think that would have been a compromise for this system. Instead, it's just like, ah, oh, you can only do one, which is kind of annoying. Well, the request gate is now open. Good luck with your job. we finally become a real team. This is great. You can change who'll go into a dungeon by talking to Quagsire. I'll leave all those kinds of decisions up to you, so no slacking, Neon. For now, let's just work on completing requests and getting pokey and items. Neon, let's do our best out there today. I'm really enjoying this. Do you want to depart? We're gonna murder some people. Hazy pass. Ooh, I like that the puzzle is kind of already done. Hello, you have uh, come to die. Well, we might as well fight an Adino. Adventure hint. Moves can now become more powerful. As you use a move, you'll see the gauge to the left of its name fill up as follows. Once the guild fills up completely, the move will become more powerful. Kind of disappointing that that didn't, uh... Like, uh... Do it while we were not a team, but oh well. <laughs> do we get to see Verizian jump with us? That's hilarious. All right, everybody, we're in a dungeon as a proper team. And because these are story characters, I'm kind of incentivized to bring them with me because I'm attached to them story-wise. Wait, did they test if it has to hit? I don't know. Ooh, Verizian, thank you. Now I can have a teammate attack from behind and I completely, well, then again, Amolga has quick attack too. I hope that, like, 
I can't believe you left me to be annihilated, Amulga. But I'm liking the ideas being presented. Oh, Cal, it's another motherfucker. Then again, I'm actually much more powerful than we were last time, Adino. I'm not afraid of you now. You're still kind of tanky, but I'm not scared. You dropped the chest! Yes! Adventure hint. Rampados back at town will open treasure boxes for you. Bring one back to town and visit the Box Buster facility. I just remembered I also have growth. I need to use growth. Oh, but growth can't level up, can it? Oh, hey, you want to die? Not the silly string. <laughs> I'm really liking the vibes of this game, man. This game is so good. Your room-wide annihilation is evil. Prepare to die. I'm gonna level up my Vine Whip. Honestly, wouldn't mind if the leveling up process took a little bit longer. Honestly. But kind of nice that it goes super fast. Meanwhile, like veterans of Gates to Infinity are like, No, you fool! You want them to level up as fast as possible! I also like that they show you the progress of the level, like, in the use name. Congratulations! You'll move powered up! Using damaging moves enough times and they'll power up, increasing in power, accuracy, and power points. So that's how they justify getting rid of basic attacks! Because normal attacks, like, actually level up with you, kind of like what basic attacks did normally. I this is cool! A move's progress is shared by all of your teammates. For example, if both Verizian and Amolga use Quick Attack, the move will grow much more quickly than if just one Pokemon used it. I love this. I love this. This is brilliant. This is magnificent. Another box! <laughs> I am no longer afraid of you! Fear me! Fear Verizian, actually. Because that was horrifying. Corner-cutting magical leaves that just annihilate you. Shred your skin and your family's skin. And your neighbor's skin. And God. Just n not his skin, just God in general. Shredded. He's playing a guitar. Ba -ba, ba -ba. Yeah, this is cool. I need to be on the lookout for the uh, ba ba ba, the shiny floors. I got another escape orb, escape orb. Die. Another sparkly gold bar. Ah, uh, Compagrius is gonna be. He's going to love me. He's going to love me. He'll never marry me, but he'll take all my gold. I want to climb. I want to climb the ladder. Be the greatest League of Legends player there ever was. There's a reason that the best League player's name is Faker. Don't you dare use that petrifying orb on me. <laughs> Gold! Me gold! Exactly. Orenberry, yay. I think I might have, like, overprepared in fear of a dungeon. In fact, doesn't level up, but I can still go row in power. Ba -ba -ba -ba. The music, the graphics, the feel, everything is so grand, I love it. Adino wants to join the team. Hmm. Sure, you can join the team. Why not? We'll probably never use you because we have people with names and story relevance. We'll call you Menace because that's what your kind was originally. 
Not anymore, but your legacy will stand. Hello, Menace. Yes. Now, you have more than four party members. Send a Pokemon back to paradise. You can choose! That's cool. Bye, Menace. More enthusiastic for gold than the 1%. To be fair, the 1% already have gold. I do not. Interesting. It seems like you can only level up your attacks, like, once per dungeon. Which seems fine. That's a fine compromise for being able to level them up in general. I need to pay a close attention to the map, so that if there's an item that I'm missing. Then again, I also need to keep my eyes peeled for sparklies. Because I missed sparklies in a dungeon last time, like a fool. I got tunnel vision, <laughs> while my chat was able to have full vision and be like, YOU FOOL! That's why it's called full vision. God, this is a big place. And I have to scour it for sparklies. Pharisian took no damage. Pharisian, don't give a fuck. Never mind, she decided to hurt your, herself by bashing you. It's like if Vicious Mockery had a... Okay, then you have chosen to death, you little motherfucker. <laughs> a weird choice. Another block! I'm getting so many boxes. Okay, never mind. We're all taking no damage from this guy. We are we are gods among mortals here. Like Oh, never mind. Vine Whip is leveling up. Whooper wants to join. I mean, I guess there's really no reason not to, I guess. Whooper. What should your name be then? I don't know. Just need to go vibes. Hmm. Rook. You will be Rook. Now, where's R in here? Just everybody wants to be on my team. That baby Quagsire. I should have named him something like Torturer or something. Oh, well. Goodbye, Rook. But yeah, I'm just, I'm loving all of this. This is all fantastic. This might just slowly become like a favorite game, like one of my favorite Pokemon Mystery Dungeons. Be it's going to be so hard to choose, man, because if the story is as short as the boss thing makes it seem, which again, could just be that the first two are super early, and the story gets paced out better as we go along. Could always be that. Could always be that. But, so far I think this very well might beat, like, uh... Rescue team. I need to save up money to get these vitamins. What's a citrus berry? I can just eat it off rip. God. Or throw it? Game, you're mean. Your party is fully in sync with each other. Your party will become more and more in sync with each other the more you explore the and battle in dungeons. When your party is in sync with each other, the icon in the top left of the upper screen will begin to flash. You can hold L and then tap the symbol on the touchscreen to unleash a team attack. That's cool. I just like the little things that they're doing for this game. They could have easily just been like, ah, explorers again. But no, they went hard. Hold L and tap the symbol on the touchscreen to unleash a team attack. It will damage every enemy. I can out-monster the house! The more party members you have, the more damage the attack will do. And no, we're, we're not going to do that. That's a waste right now. But this is cool. This is so cool! Please tell me they bring this all back for Super! Because this is great! This is amazing! 
Use a Petrify Orb to petrify all the enemies in the room, making them unable to move. However, petrified enemies will regain their ability to move if you do anything to them, such as using an item or a move, so be careful. God, I love this. This game is amazing. They do uh, pace the bosses better as well as some bosses are not on the save menu boss list. Thank you! <laughs> exactly what I want. That is exactly what I wanted to hear. That is exactly what I wanted to hear. I love it. I, I figured that like surprise bosses would be in there. But I just wanted, uh, like, I was, I was, I was willing to be a bit fearful, willing to be a bit fearful. But oh, I'm so happy. Again, kind of disappointed that we don't have Mama Kangaskhan, but oh well. Then again, what am I doing? I can put the boxes away, and then I there's literally a button to be like, hey, would you like to withdraw your treasure boxes? Because they they're so nice. Also. I like that they're still using, like, the sprites. Like, at least kind of. They still look like some of the sprites. From, like, the treasure boxes especially look like sprites from Explorers. Which I appreciate. Even if they're not, like, literally, I still like it. And this is where the real fight begins. Steady your nerves and let's get going. Well, we're finally this far. Shouldn't be much farther. Let's do it. We can take a little break here before pushing onward. Let's give it all we've got, Neon. I love this. This is great. Uh, special defense we shall give to Emolga because uh, he has multiple things that can annihilate him, probably. Zoro and Neon and Silas are definitely raging right now with me and Apollo right now because monster houses. They're like, what do you mean that they just can go and annihilate monster houses? What do you mean? But yeah, just... I might have to take away your double team privileges. Well, I guess we can get, like, one of each. I have no idea what you are. You're like a grass bug. Uh, you're just... You're just gonna be called Jerry. You're nothing... Nothing grand. You're just Jerry. I have no idea for you. Get out of here, Jerry. I... I think they... It could just be the fact that we're in a low-level dungeon compared to what our level is. But... And another box! Great. But I'm loving this. So that that Adino was just up there in in the out again. I find it hilarious that that is just constantly appearing in my runs. That just empty root. Well, not empty. Sometimes it has items. But just that little dead end is eternally there, and that amuses me. Like, no hunger. It moves level up to compensate for basic attack. It's great, man. Meanwhile, my team in Explorers having ominous wind killing monster houses. Uh. <laughs> just like, what do you mean you can attack a whole room? the money they did. Uh, we didn't explore everywhere, but hey. Hey, you found the superior you were looking for. So that's what I'm gonna look like. Thank you for saving me. Would you like to escape? Now nah, we're gonna finish this dungeon. God, I'm, I'm loving this. This is such a great experience. It's so, like, I think the reason that, like, Explorers work so well, like Explorers of Sky, is because it's everything about Rescue Team and the, like, previous, like, Explorer games just better. But this is different. And I kind of like that. I like that 
they took the opportunity, like, well, we're already going to be changing things up a lot. So what if we went and, like, uh, made it different in a lot of ways anyway? And I like that. I like that they took the opportunity to add in a bunch of stuff, add in character. Wait, need to look for sparklies. No sparklies. Let everybody level up their attacks. I'm just... I am enjoying this. I'm loving this. The people behind this game... I am so sorry that people were mean to this. Because, yeah, I understand the disappointment of not having as many Pokemon to choose from. But still, this is great. We already have a Sawaddle. Get out of here. That's cool that it actually tells you. Get out of here. So many quality of life things. Then again, yeah, so many life things. I love it. I love it. Oh, we were already at the final level anyway. Thank you for saving me. I'll give you this as a reward. 150, and a power band, and a defense scarf, and a training seed. What's a training seed? The next month. Oh, we don't get good nights? Well, I guess... Because, <laughs> like, like we did a we had a full day today. I kind of okay, missed that. Morning, Neon. Let's give it our all again today. Would you like to save your adventure? Yes. Interesting. They're having us... They prompt us to save after we wake up. You should rest before you play more. My eyes are fine, Nintendo. Your 3D machinations do not harm me. Hmm, interesting. I guess that we'll be able to maybe do stuff with Paradise as time goes on. I wonder what the post game is like here. Get her! What's up, Girder? I've decided. Starting today, I'm setting up shop right here. What? I'm thinking it's time to be trying a proper carpenter again. And on top of that, I do want to pay you guys back in some way. So I figured I might as well set up shop on your doorstep. Yeah, that's what he says anyways. But I'm betting he just wants to stay close to the lovely Verizian. You little! And why'd you have to go and blab something like that? <laughs> the second time he beats them up, but this time for funny aha. Ha! Huh. Now that all the distractions are gone. Hey, ain't that old good? Scraggy. Good are you? When did you get all buddy buddy with these losers? Look who's talking! What a what's a crook like you doing in a nice place like this? I... I didn't. It's not like I had a choice, yo. Life's not so simple for some of us. It's not like... It's not like I chose to be stuck in this awful place. <laughs> Looks like you've got some issues of your own, pal. I don't know what your problem is, but... Whatever. At any rate, what I was saying was... I'm thinking I'd like to have a shop here from now on. Any objections? Of course not. I think it's awesome to see you fired up for work again. <laughs> I figured you'd say something like that, Locke, you softy. I was counting on it, in fact, so I already took the liberty of building the shop, which I did see, but didn't mention, because my brain has a lot of things inside of it. <laughs> I had In Hands of Fate play on Shuffle, and it took all my strength not to get teary-eyed. So mood, the Time Gear let motif songs just hurt so much. What? There it is, the new home to the Gerda crew. Pretty awesome, I know. So I'll be working hard as a carpenter right here in the Paradise Center from now on. Well, I'll be trying anyway. It's been a long time since I've done any real work, so I'm awful rusty. 
That's not true. You just built us our house, right? Well, that's true. I still think I've got to get some more practice in if I'm hoping to make a living. I've been practicing my carpentry every day recently, but it's not going so well. Things might be different if I could get my hands on a sturdy vine or two. I feel like I could really recapture those old instincts if I had some, but... Is that all? Why didn't you say so? We'll get you a sturdy vine. What? You do that for me? Of course. You probably want to focus on training right now, so we'll just go get it for you. Just one thing, where should we look? I'm pretty sure you can get a sturdy vine as a reward for meeting a request. If you go check out that request board, you'll probably find requests that reward you with a sturdy vine. If you clear one of those requests, you should be able to get one. Got it! Then I guess we'll do a request, and when we get that sturdy vine, we'll bring it to you right away! Okay, Neon! Let's go check out that request board. Maybe we'll find a request that'll get us that sturdy vine. Then we're setting out. I like this. I like this so much. This is so wonderful. It's just a wonderful thing. Let's go ahead and take out our money. We'll withdraw the treasure boxes. Interesting that they actually let you decide overall. I guess we'll take that and deposit. Is there anything we want to deposit? Well, let's quickly reorder. We'll keep Petrify Orb just in case. And we'll put the Defense Scarf away. And then we need to actually... Well... Hmm. Uh, actually, we'll put that one away and then... Verizian can have the other power band. I am enjoying this so much. This is wonderful. Well, we can go this way. Huh. I like that there's these little places. The boss still mad, you say? Oh, he's always like that. He'll forget soon enough, so don't you worry. But more importantly, the boss says that he's thinking of working as a carpenter again. It's the best news I've heard in ages. Uh, of course, we'll be working right alongside him as his apprentices. How how boss doesn't know doesn't seem to know the meaning of the words holding back. So you guys got hit with boss battle level punches, you poor schmucks. Ba 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 ba. I'm a baddie, see. I never waste my time with requests. Punishing evildoers in particular ain't something I do, see. I ain't scared of evildoers or anything like that, see? No joke! Now that you mention it, looks like it's about to come again. It's time for that season. What season? Isn't it a beautiful day now? But even in weather so fine, I still feel a bit low-spirited. It is hard to bear up such under such gloom. The Boxbuster shop is finally open for business again, but the gift shop is still closed. It's a real shame not to see Chinchio all the time, but I guess I'll just have to be patient. I'm the Boxbuster! Bring me treasure boxes! Adventure hint! Rampados can open up any treasure boxes you find. Treasure boxes may all look the same, but each one contains something different. The heavy box, right? All right, watch this! Whoa! Impressive, right? It went so quick. Oh, we got another gold bar. Hell yeah. You still got treasure box. I can smell it on you. Come on. Let me open it. Pretty box. The pretty box, right? All right, watch this. Whoa! Impressive, right? Here you go. You got a max elixir. Not a bad thing. You still got a treasure box. I smell it on you. Come on, let me open it. A uh, light box. All right, watch this. Whoa! Look at that, would ya? You got a guard skill! Hell yeah! Advice Bulletin, guard skill. The guard skill is one of the team skills. If you learn the guard skill when the leader and teammate are next to each other, an enemy's attack against the leader can sometimes be blocked. Team skills have effects on all of your teammates. The True Hope, the True Hope learned that guard skill. You've still got a treasure box, I can smell it on you, come on! Let me open it! The hard box, right? All right, watch this! Woo! Look at that, would you? You got a super effective skill! Hey, it's that thing you were just talking about. 
The super effective skill is one of the team skills. If you learn the super effective skill, the hit rate of super effective attacks will be higher. Team skills are effects on all of your teammates. And you've learned the super effective skill. Looks like you're all out of treasure boxes. Come back when you have more. I love these characters. Sup, Neon? And you too, Locke. You're gonna do some more quests today? I'm ready to go whenever you... Whenever. Just call me. It's another beautiful day, isn't it? Let's work our hardest on our requests. There are lots of different requests, too. I keep talking to them out of order. I like requests for finding items best. I just love the feeling of being entrusted with a mission. We got a request to go beat up some baddies. But there's one really tough guy among them. That's a rub. You seem to work hard at your requests. Everyone really appreciates what you do. Please keep up the hard work. And plus, I, I like the, like, it kind of... It doesn't really incentivize you, but I still really like walking around the town. And seeing the different Pokemon talking to them. Nope, he's still gone. Only one here is Mr. DLC. He doesn't exist. He's not canon. He's probably not included in any, any of the fan fictions. Hey, Verizian. It does feel nice standing here like this. If only I could see the Rainbows of Hope, it would be perfect. But everyone says they haven't appeared in ages. I suppose I just have to give up. Man, you just give up on everything, don't you? Just wanna look? Nah, that was just a fence. I thought maybe it was stairs. Oh, meanwhile, remember, stay hydrated while you're having fun, everybody. But yeah, the vibes of this game, they're just so immaculate. I'm loving it. Do, 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 do. See, is there any items that I long to put away? What's a train is he? Boost the growth of moves for a while. Hmm. So not really that much of a thing to worry about. Hmm, welcome to Quaxar Assembly. I can help you. Change your party here. Let's see. Dunsparce is still level 6. So I guess I have to take him with us. So you know what? Stand by. Let's bring Dunsparce with us. Even though we're probably going to go on a harder mission. Do you need anything else? Hmm? Well, good luck on your adventures. Hmm? Now this is a schmuck who needs a defense. And we'll put that away until we can give it to Verizian. I wonder if we can give it to him before we even enter. We can! Here you go, boy. Thank you. You'll be able to get all kinds of different materials by completing jobs. If you're looking for a specific material, try pressing X to filter by rewards, so you can quickly find a job for it. This is cool. Let's see. <laughs> we can go to Ragged Mountain and get a ton of... Well, never mind. All of these... All of them! All of them are just the same. That's hilarious. A famous seed. And all of them are on the same one. Like, if only. If only we could just go, like, the same place. Well, I guess we'll... Well, let's see. Technically, like, the more difficult... Blah, blah, blah. Technically, it gives more money. Do I want to go to Hazy Pass? Didn't we find you at Hazy Pass? Or Forest... I don't think we've gone to Forest Grotto. Have we? No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> it's basically. Enemies are too strong. Cling Clang. I guess we'll go save Cling Clang. So you're gonna head off for the job? Enemies are too strong. Indeed. The request gate is now open. Good luck with your job. Thank you very much, Azumarill. 
Now we just need to take care of Dunsparce, the poor boy. Get smacked. <laughs> One turn, he immediately leveled up. Ah, he... <laughs> Dunsparce learned spite! That is hilarious. <laughs> that amuses me. <laughs> he learned spite. Alright, now we'll fight you. Again, I need to be on the lookout for any, uh, ba ba ba. I really do need to take your double team away because this is not the time for it. Let's see. Moves. I do like this. This is cool. Uh, especially because double team. Ain't helpful right now. Let us climb the stumps. Who even set up this dungeon? Come to think of it. <laughs> the stairs immediately there. Telling me, hey, get out of here. No damage. Die. More level up for Dunsparce. All right, now remember this goes a little finicky. Oh, he can use Pursuit. Let's see, Spite, it cuts the power point of an enemy's last move. I don't know if enemies have power points in this game. I don't think they had power points in the previous games. Plus in general, Spite, Rage. Is something happening with the boy? Is something happening with Dead Sparks? I guess we'll get rid of Spite. I think that one's not as useful. Like, defense, curl, handy. Attack moves handy. Cutting off a power point thing. Like, the likelihood of an enemy having power points by the time, uh, like, running out of power points before we kill them, unlikely. Die. How dare you string shot at lock, you bastard! I tackle you! And by that I mean I smack you with my head. Also, thanks to the 3D, like, modeling and, like, perspective, Quick Attack looks like it covers such a distance from corners. Well, that whooper's on my list of die. You're gonna give me a powerful thing. The music... The environment. I'm just, I'm really liking this. I'm just like, I really like this. It's funny that I'm kind of happy that I waited to like play. Like, I'm happy that I was put off by it originally so that I could then like stream it properly later. So now I can, like, give my proper reaction to things. Yeah, the music in this one is really nice. Like, I still really like uh, the music of the Rescue Team and Explorers, but it's, it's something different, which is kind of nice. What the fuck? Dun Dunsparce, where the fuck are you going? Nope, he's on... Dunsparce, you idiot. <laughs> he's immediately running away. Now which way are you gonna go? Alright, now if we go this way... At least Dunsparce, like, managed to handle himself. Okay, Dunsparce, at least in here he's being a badass. God damn it, Dunsparce. Well, actually, if we get there in time, we can meet up with him. <laughs> Just send us running all over the place, why don't you, Dunsparce? You're at the tail end of the, the group of the train. You immediately decide, I am now going to go on a murder spree. Just leave us. 
<laughs> really putting the 3DS's better speakers to use. That is a, actually, yeah, that would be true. The 3DS would technically have better speakers. Get smacked. <laughs> Get smacked and assured. Assuredly smacked, if you will. And let's try to level up our pursuit a bit. And give us that money. Yeah, this is just such a nice experience. Again, I can understand some of the criticisms as little quibbles, but this does not deserve the reputation of being like, ah, it's bad. No, it's just a transitionary game. Mobile Scarf would be OP in this game. Because there's no... Yeah, because there's no, like, hunger. Another gold bar! When can when Confagrius opens up, I'm gonna be a god. And Dunsparce is making hefty use of my pursuit. Hey, a cherry berry. I, I just find it funny that it's just like it's named kind of like after a normal plant. We are here to kill you. Oh, we got a critical hit. Yeah, you keep working, Amolga. You keep working that ass. Just like you said you would in town. Damn it, one away from funny number. Die. I wonder why some of the whooper... <coughs> Excuse me. Why some of the whooper take like 80 damage and other ones are like, I am a god, and just take hardly any. Get smacked, idiot. And an all power up. Or. Oh, yeah, I think you guys. Let me actually go check these guys. Oh, uh, no, tactics. Yeah. Follow me. That's what they were doing. Let's go together is a weird one right now. Wargle Ball is always on the same floor of that dungeon. I don't know. For a moment, I thought maybe the spawn. For, like, because we got Gold Bar in the same place twice, I think. But then on the latest run, uh, this latest run through, it's on a different sparkly spot. So, I can only guess that... I can only guess that uh, Gold Bars are just more likely to appear in sparkly spots. And because those are sparkly spots. And who knows, maybe that's my shiny luck. <laughs> You're lucky to get all the shinies, I'm lucky to get all the Gold Bars. Which, you know, considering that my like is Mystery Dungeon, I guess it's attuned to my interests. Also, this is a tiny floor. This is a tiny, like, dungeon floor. Also, this is a tough swaddle, it seems. Was the only reason everybody was joining our team earlier because Verizian was with us? I think so. I think that's the only reason. Let's see, 17 out of 24, I guess we can. And we're not getting any boxes, too. Maybe Verizian is a lucky charm. Note to self, always bring Verizian. Verizian is what makes everything good. What's an all power up orb? It sharply boosts the attack and special attack of your party. Well, now I'm gonna have to keep that too because that would be amazing for a boss battle. God, I'm loving this. I really want to find some treasure. Let's keep going, everyone. Well, we're finally this far. Shouldn't be much farther. Let's go. I just swoop de whoop and then I can go yes.
You've arrived at four where Kling Klang is. Fine whip. Get schmecked. And pursued it. Ooh! That almost looks like a big box. It's a shiny box. Speaking of shinies. Die. Damn it. Yep, orbs can be used in boss battles starting with this game. Which I used by accident. Because I was fighting uh, uh, Girder and Scraggy. And I'm like, oh, I have orbs. I can use them. And then like partway through, I'm like, wait a minute. I'm using orbs in boss battles. Oh. Plus, I was also informed of that by other people. Yeah, we'll get you out of here because we're here. I do like the graphic. That's like, hey, congratulations, you beat it. You did it. Thank you for saving me. How do you even exist? No. Interesting that it defaults to, yes, I would like to escape. All right, just... <laughs> Well, come along, we'll kill you, Adino. Never mind, Emolga will kill you. Although bosses have immunities or resistances to certain effects. Well, hey. I really like using the self-affecting... Like, uh... The self-affecting ones, so... That shouldn't bother me too much. And even then, if a boss has, like, a bunch of minions, the Petrify Orb should handle the minions, but leave the boss still ready to get smacked. That would actually work good. But yeah, this this is a great Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. This is, honestly, this is, this is probably going to top Rescue Team for me. Rescue Team was fantastic in its simplicity and like, yeah, just like its simplicity. I'm trying to think of other words. It was like, it was very simple. It was very small and nice. But this one, lots of character, lots of personality. Just might be shorter and less, like, options. But it's still very good. It's still very good. So much quality of life. It's building on stuff from past games. It's like, it's good. I can understand having, like, gripes with it. But this is a good mystery dungeon game. Honestly, would not mind if, like, for the 20th anniversary of, uh, Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team, if they came in and, like, hey, we're porting the 3DS Mystery Dungeon games to Switch, would not mind. Would not mind at all, because this is good. <laughs> One-shot orbs won't work. At least that makes sense. Also, I like the graphic that's, like, the background and everything. That's cool there. I like it. Thank you for saving me. I'll give you this as a reward. I got money. I got sturdy. And then I got sturdy. And I got a blinker seed. Now I can get crunk. Again, kind of disappointed that there isn't... Ba -ba -ba. Like, a uh, good night. Ah, oh, we did good today. <laughs> I'm glad we got that sturdy vine yesterday. Now Girder should be able to practice again, huh? Let's hurry up and give it to him. <laughs> Clearly the most underappreciated game in the series. Probably. Uh, isn't this? Yep, we brought you a sturdy vine. With this, you'll be able to work on your carpentry again, right? <laughs> Lock-handed Girder, the sturdy vine. You kids. You actually. <laughs> Thanks, kids. I'm sure I can get back into the swing of things with this. I'm going to show you carpentry like you've never seen. Just you wait. Looking forward to it. Good luck, Girder. I just, I really like this. This is super cool. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Ba, 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 ba. Yep, makes a Pokemon blind. And we'll take this one shiny box with us. Mm. 
guess we'll put this defense scarf away. Withdraw the power band for Verizium, because we'll bring her in. Let's see, is there, do I have any money deposited? I do not. Wait, no, we'll go ahead and change up the team. Welcome to Quagsire Assembly. I would like to change. Well, stand by. Verizian with us. Even if that means that, like, all the Pokemon will want to join our team. Just like everybody will want to join our team. At least we'll get more boxes, it seems. Spending time with my little Lillipup is the bright spark in my day. I can't say why, but the laddie is one who can always bring a smile to my face. Welcome to the Kecleon shop. Probably won't buy anything, but let me see what you got. That low sweep. Pluck. I've come to do shopping with my granddad today. Where's your parents? Good afternoon, Leon. Good luck on your jobs today. I've got to decide pretty soon. What should I do? I'm the box buster! Bring treasure boxes and I'll bust them open! The shiny box, right? Alright, watch this! Woohoo! Impressive, right? Here you got a gold bars! Will Confagrius please open up his shop? I have gold bars for days! Oh wait, was there somebody there in the bottom corner? I want to talk to people. Oh, that one. Yes, that rock right there. My goodness, but that's a nice rock. Well, everyone has their fetish. Have you seen a job request that looks like a challenge? It says accept my challenge or something like that. Jobs where you go to beat them. They ain't my style, see? Ah, but I ain't saying that because I'm scared, see? I'm serious. I've been attempting a challenging dungeon these past few days, yet so far fortune has not been on my side. I will not give in to despair, though. I shall fortify myself with this hearty meal and take on that dungeon again and again. You know, it doesn't matter how many times I come here, this food's still the best. Eating here like this? Now this is true happiness. It's so good that I can almost forget how bad it felt to be rejected. Rejected. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, sucks to be you. Good afternoon. Stop and have a chat, won't you? Everyone needs a break sometimes. Don't push yourself too hard. It's like Swan is like the initial like super good character in this town. I think I'll be staying here for a while, but uh, I just can't seem to relax here, Chop Chop. Sucks to be you. <laughs> the Mianfu is me trying to clear Zero Isle. I'd believe it. Zero Isle is evil. I never went there, but I know it to be evil. Especially because there's four of them. I'm really glad we could gird her that sturdy vine you needed. All right, let's get down to some requests again today. You mean request singular, because we cannot do any anything else. We are incapable of doing anything. Well, let's see. Let's see, uh, team skill. Are they automatically activated? They are! That's very good. Huzzah. I'm, I'm really enjoying this. This is fun. This is very, very fun. Well, actually, let's talk to Gerder again, see if he has anything else to say. Thanks so much. I really just... I'm gonna practice a practice time as good as I ever was again. Just you wait. Would be nice if, like, uh, the timber were here. <laughs> just, I'm just, I'm really loving this. This is great. Let's see. Fresh herb, rich soil, precious branch. Fresh herb, rich soil, spring water, lustrous metal. Interesting. The popular ribbon. <laughs> Somebody help. Rich, lustrous, fresh herb, stone slab. Hmm. 
I think I'll... Hmm. From Vaporeon. Hmm. I think we'll do this one. Spring water and fresh herb. Forest Grotto. Rescue Hexorus. Hey, we, we rescued my future evolution. Let's save Locke's future one. <laughs> I'm returning to Mystery Dungeon Sky. Team Aura shall evolve by the end of the stream. I wish you luck. Because I remember <laughs> it was it would have been difficult for me to level or like evolve Silas in my playthrough. Meanwhile, uh, Zoro and Neon just immediately became a Zoroark in the end. You are going to die. Oh, it's this song! Ah, shit. Well, luckily my allies will be able to annihilate you. The upside to bringing a bunch of allies. If I get confused, the one who confused me will be, like, annihilated by the Mafia. That is me. My Mafia. That's how the Mafia works. Love it. So good. Da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 da 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 this is a vibe. Literally, if like so far, if they just changed it so that you could do as many requests in a single dungeon as you wanted, would be great. Ah, not you. I would like to get away. Oh, there we go. Ow! All right, down, downside to son of a bitch. <laughs> downside to having a powerful Pokemon on your team. When they get confused, they can murder. The vibes, man. You keep bubbling a grass type, idiot. Literally everybody on the team could get a piece of that little tadpole. Leech seed all you want, you're still gonna die. Oh yeah, I forgot. I can use growth. Eh, don't really care. Goodbye. Another scarf. Another zinc band. Special effect defense. <laughs> Ragged Mountain. I guess you really like the music for this one. It is good. It's like, it's so cool. I like this game. Oh, hey, it's you. Would you like to die? And money! We gotta get lots of money! Loads of money! Oh yeah, I forget I can do that. Hello and welcome to, uh, You're Probably Gonna Die. Featuring you. Immediately dying.
da, 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 da. Sorry, pet little. No. <laughs> Hello, Begon. I will not cringe this day. Cringe is for the cringe. And I save cringe for my Twitter and stuff for when I post cringe art. If anything, I need to draw more cringe. Except the cringe, so I can draw whatever it is I desire. The ultimate power. I'm so, so very much enjoying this. I'm glad that I got onto the Mystery Dungeon kick again. Because, like, I just decided one day, I'm going to stream Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. And then, I, it, like, an attempt to begin my normal stream schedule. And now here we are. It's just so good. You fool, you, <laughs> you cannot do that. Verizian is beyond your power. Meaning of that, I really should uh, power myself up. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Hello, Tim Pole. You're gonna die. It smacked. And just like everything they're doing with this game, aside from the only one mission per dungeon thing. Is fantastic. Because, like... I love that there are story-relevant team members. Story-relevant team members beyond just your partner. I mean, I guess technically Rescue Team had that, actually. It's been a long time that I forgot, but yeah. Technically, Rescue Team did have... Like one guy, I think, that's like, hey, I'll join your team for story reasons, and then I never used them. Oh, and Absol. Absol was also in Rescue Team. But there wasn't anything like that in Explorers, interesting enough. So I really like that, like, you can do this. Man, you're just everywhere today, aren't you? We're not gonna buy from you, because I have no money. <laughs> no money! First it was loads of money, now it's none. <laughs> okay, Team Aura shall evolve by end of next stream. I have still have to do the Dark Cry thing. And my game keeps crashing. Ouch. Hope, uh, hope the crashing ceases. Because <laughs> I know crashing was very annoying the few times it cropped up for me. At least, when Verizian goes to murder, I don't have to worry about her. She is a legendary. I wonder what happened to the other Swords of Justice. Where's Keldeo? Ooh, level up time for Locke. It's been a bit since we leveled up. Then again, we've been doing low-level dungeons. You can string shot me all you want. I'm still gonna murder your family. My tackle is better than your tackle. This is such a grand experience. Ba, 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 ba. I ain't afraid of you. Neither is Verizian. Leech seed all you want. Absorb all you want. You're still gonna die. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Hi, Hexorus. 
Let's get you out of here. Thank you for saving me. Not the voice I intended to give you, but I guess it's yours now. But yeah, we're going to finish this out, get some more items, maybe. Sparkly! Reunion cape. Hey, it's always nice to have an extra, I guess. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Any sparklies does not seem to be. <laughs> the Vaporeon is kind of stiff, but okay. Thank you for saving Hexors for me. I'll give you this as a reward. 200 Pokey, a spring water. And fresh herb. And special band. The next morning. Good morning, Neon. Let's give it our all again today. I would like to save my game. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> you should take a break. You, you're not the boss of me, game. I'm the boss of me, and even then, hardly at that. Girder! Hey, Girder. And Timber and Timber, too. Sorry for the holdup. As of today, the Girder crew is open and ready for business. You are? Then that means... That's right. I've still got a long way to go, but I think I'm getting back to the old feel for my carpentry. He's been practicing non-stop since yesterday. He didn't even sleep. And the boss made the two of us jump stay up all night with him, of course. You said you want to make paradise, right? If you want to add any facilities or anything, we're your crew. Really? You bet! My skills may not be up to snuff, but I'll put my all into it. We can take care of preparing your land for building as well, of course. Preparing it? That's right. This place is all just barren wasteland, ain't it? Haven't you noticed that you can't even get through most of it? Yeah. The area around our house is all like that, in fact. Rocks and fallen trees are all over, and it's tough to climb up some places. We can't even get into most of it. All oh, right. Of course, you can't just build on top of that kind of wasteland, huh? That's right. So leave the land up to me and my boys, too. We'll prepare it for you and get it all cleared out and ready to build on. Then you can build those facilities you'll be wanting. Though, of course, this goes for both building facilities and clearing land. You're gonna need Pokey and materials for all this work we're talking about. Materials, huh? You mean stuff like that sturdy vine you wanted to for practice? That's right. Those are exactly the kinds of materials you can get them from requests. Here, I'll give you an overview of what you need to build a facility. First, you do the requests, right? You get together all the materials and Pokey that you'll need for preparing the land. Then you give us, the Gerda crew, a holler, and... Uh, we'll prepare the land for you, right? Once it's all prepared, you can build your facilities on it. Then you'll have to repeat the whole mess to make yourself a facility. You do your requests. You get together all the materials and Pokey that you need for your facility. Then we can build it for you. That's about it, huh? Well, you've got to start preparing the land anyway. Just call us when you're ready. Thanks, Girder. I think I get it. Neon, looks like we're one step closer to making our paradise. Let's prepare all this wasteland and make ourselves some facilities that'll help us out on our adventures. I like this. I like this kind of simul- like, building sim aspect to it. I like that. Advice Bulletin. Materials have been added to the X menu. Now you can see which materials you need for preparing land for building facilities. This is just utterly fantastic and I love it. Hey, now they're finally here. You're gonna work like you... We're gonna work like you've never seen before. Just you wait. The Gerda crew is officially in business. Being able to work alongside the boss again like this. It's truly like a dream come true. Nothing could make me happier. Neon Lock, thank you so much. 
If you want to prepare some land, then the Gerda crew's all you need. All right, let's see. Only the land shown in the bright areas can be prepared. The dark areas can't be chosen yet. Let's start by choosing the area in the center. What kind of place do you want it to be? After choosing the area you want to prepare, decide what type of land you'll want it. One for it. Ah, oh, we need rich soil for pleasant plain. All right, next we do. We need pleasant. Uh, we need a uh, rich soil. Oh wait, before we do anything, anything. Ah, we didn't get a box now, did we? But we do have a bunch of stuff we can put away at the very least. And who knows? Maybe Bubba Bug Guy will, like, uh, finally be open. If we didn't give you your power band, I'm an idiot. Alright, we'll head to town, see how things go. We'll come back and get one for rich soil. I fainted, so I don't really remember what happened then. I keep talking to them out of order. Our adventures yesterday was a complete and utter disaster. It was one time during our an adventure that I thought Panpour was done for. The Pokemon we were fighting suddenly went and evolved on us. Can you believe that? Okay, that's a horrifying thing that they're throwing out there. The enemies can evolve, like they said in the little thing enemies can. Nice to meet you. My name is Dwebble. You're gonna make a paradise? My goodness! I'm also trying to find my own perfect home. That's the reason I'm wandering. Oh my goodness, I feel like we're a little bit the same, you and I. Goodness me, but I'm glad I met you. Yo, Neon. Lock. I'm ready and raring to go. Let's do it. Good morning, Neon and Lock. I want to give you gold! Ah, empty today, huh? No customers again today. Not that I'm saying anything. It's just not just today, of course. The atmosphere around town seems a bit gloomy, you see. This oppressive atmosphere, it almost makes you feel as if, like even if you tried to do something, no good would come of it, know what I mean? God, now you're making me depressed. Yes, I just can't seem to relax here, Trump Trump. I must find some place filthier. Do you have a recommendation, Trump Trump? I do not. <laughs> what, if I build a utterly filthy place in my paradise, will you come <laughs> work for me? So the other day I was in this dungeon, you follow? Then I ran into this place where I should have been able to go, only I couldn't. It's suspicious, see? Felt like I should have been able to get through, but I couldn't. I bet you dollars to donuts that there's something in there. Dollars exist in this world? Somebody didn't think of their lore when writing dialogue! Whenever I come here, the scenery is just fantastic and really relaxing. I'm always ready for an adventure, you know? Call on me if you're forming a party for some adventure. I just, I like this. This is fun. I also like the, again, the, like, building sim aspect. Where you're like, ooh, you get... Da da da. I need rich soil. We can get too rich soil at Stony Cave. Well, let's go all the way to the end. For lots of loads of money, maybe. We can get too rich soil for rescuing Glaceon and Desolate Canyon at floor five. Sure, rich soil, and we get a precious branch. So you're gonna head off from the job my friend is missing? Thank you, Azumarill. The request gate is now open. Good luck with your job. Let's go! And... Power Band for Verizian. Now we're here to kick ass and kick ass. That orb is mine. Fight all you want, you'll still die! Staunch all you want too, you'll still die. <laughs> Yo! 
You motherfucker! That should be illegal. That should be illegal in five fifty million states. You steal my fucking berries? Well, again, we don't have the money to pay you for shit, man. Nah, shit. But hey, I still have pursuit. And tackle. Nah. And we got a hail seed. I almost said hail seed. Sucks them hail! The power of Monco will help you on your adventures through these damnable dungeons. Just remember, give all the things that you find to Monco, and we'll make the most of it. I just love the music. I do wish that the sparklies were, like, lit up on the map. Then again, maybe they are, and I'm blind. Also, I find it kind of funny that on some level, Verizine is the kind of legendary that other, like, the rescue team and the explorer team would have to fight on, at some point. And they would totally win, because they're badasses. Axio of Dual Chop is like a nuke with a second nuke. There is a joke there, but I shall refrain. Do, 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 do. For some reason, this music track specifically almost reminds me of, uh, Spyro. Spyro the Dragon. Like, at some points. Other points, it reminds me of something else, but I don't know what. So I'm just, I'm just enjoying this a lot. Again, man, the vibes. The vibes are just great. God damn it, I didn't think about that. So you picked up what I was putting down. <laughs> Even if just obliquely. <laughs> Again, could say something, won't, because it is very bad. Hey, level up for who? A Mulga leveled up. Oh, you can learn a new move, and what's that new move? Now you too can use pursuit. Honestly, I doubt that the evasion thing would uh, just do more damage. Do more damage. Do more damage. Oh, wait. Just do more damage. Double team will be forgotten. Yes. Hm. Status? Nah. Do more damage. What's that? You want uh, vitamins? Do more damage. The log said something, but it said it very fast. Oh. <laughs> Archon's defeatist ability is affecting the Pokemon. That went by so fast I didn't even get to read it. That is something that almost feels like this one this game is faster than the other ones, which kind of makes sense considering that like completely different engine and stuff, so timings will be very different. But I'm enjoying it. Like, I'm very happy that I never really bought into the eh, GTI is cringe. 
and just mostly like, oh, I heard that it is kind of not as good as past ones. That's kind of sad. And then grew to, I'm going to give it its own shot fair play and mostly just be like, hey, uh, the gameplay can be whatever, just tell me a good story. And the gameplay is actually really, really damn good. The gameplay is greatly upgraded. And the story so far is very nice, even though it's only just been, like, character stuff for the most part. I am very, very happy with it. Huh, don't forget it has the speed up option, too. Oh, it's also true, I guess I have put it on the speed up option. So that probably has something to do with it. I mostly thought that it was just for traveling, like, in the... Like, Explorer and Rescue Team. Be like, all of the gameplay ideas that they've thrown into here are just so good. So good. I love it. Just utterly fantastic. I can't wait to play Super Mystery Dungeon to get, like, a full, like... A full prospect on like where the game where the series is at because I would be down for more mystery dungeon. I want more mystery dungeon now more than ever. Oh, you got a critical hit. You only did four damage. I'm not afraid of you. I'm going to level up my vine whip on you. Maybe. Either way, die. <laughs> Mostly because everything else in here, well, a decent number of the enemies in here, I keep running into our grass types, which aren't very conducive to leveling up my vine whip. Just a very expansive place, ain't it? place is so expansive. And that's also another thing. It definitely feels like the terrain or like the uh, the map like generation feels a slightly bit more advanced than Rescue Team and Explorers. Like I, I never really know what to expect from the map generation or like I guess more like May a dungeon generation. There we go. I was thinking of the word. It was stuck on terrain for some reason. Doo -doo -doo. But this has... This is just great. I love it. You did one damage. How dare you? Now die. Do you not have another electric move to use for that that charge you just did? Yeah, it's just it's just loads of fun. Quit using pluck, you bitch! Stop it! Quit plucking my pouch! You vulture child! We are one HP away from funny number. Yeah, this... This is just... Like, I know I'm repeating myself a lot. I'm just like, this is great, this is wonderful. But you're just like, it is! This is a very, very nice experience, and I am adoring it. So whenever there's just silence, I'm just like, man, this is great. I have nothing else to say, because it's just that good. Up. Uh. 
Uh, huh. Hello, hello, hello! What is this? <laughs> Interesting. I guess we'll leave him alone. I've been astonished. Oh no. Do, 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 do. Scary face all you want, I'm not afraid. Or maybe I am afraid, but I'm still gonna kill you. Mine. I also like the run animation. That there is one. It's nice. Well, I need to double check, make sure there's no sparklies in this room. Dead end rooms have a purpose now. Potential. Might as well use growth. I keep forgetting that I have it. I need to be on the lookout for sparklies so I can get more gold and then get whatever the hell Confagrius will give me. Well, at least I replaced one of the orange berries those stupid vulture children stole from me. Execution for the vulture children. They will never see their parents again. Dictator Chatot. Kill them all. Who's this? <laughs> Verizon just murdering everything. Enemy come up behind us. Death. <laughs> ah, you can murder him. <laughs> it's not very effective. That crow gunk. It sure felt effective. Oh! That's just kind of amusing to think about. Oh, it's not very effective. Literally annihilated all their health. You have arrived at the floor where Glacian is. We must find the evolution. We've ran into two evolutions so far. As clients, but still. You're very rude and must die. Dare you? Do, 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 do. I wonder if we leave without doing our job, if Quagsire will just walk up to us and annihilate us. Oh, neat! We can, if we look at our ally and do a basic attack, we do a little dance. It's nice. Thank you for saving me. Now get out of here. Let's not escape. We can escape on our own time. We can escape on our own dime. I can use up the last of my power points, leveling up my attacks. And leveling up everybody else's attack, too. Damn it. Who level up for who? Verizian! Pursuit. And my pursuit was upgraded. <laughs> I just, I love it. Once again, look around for sparklies just in case. That a blitzel? A blitzel? That Blitzel will die at dawn. Or sooner if we find him. You dare exist in my world? Die. 
I'm not that scared of poison. I'm sure that we'll get out of here before I get succumbed to poison. I don't even think I have a heal seed. Fuck. Maybe I should keep one of my escape orbs on hand for this kind of situation. Earlier dungeons, this would be scary. But I have a full team with me. I have nothing to worry about. <laughs> Verizian went to murder. Verizian is on a warpath! Verizian! What? Okay. The moment Verizian went to do her own thing, she just annihilated all the box holding enemies. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Verizian. <laughs> that looks hilarious. Thank you for saving Glaceon for me. I'll give you this as a reward. Uh-huh, 200 pokey, some rich soil, and some precious branch. Good night, folks. You have a good rest. <laughs> Paradise points? That's new, I think. Yeah, you have a good night. Thank you for joining me for some more mystery dungeon explore explorers. <laughs> Gates to infinity. <laughs> Paradise points are what you need to make paradise bigger. Get more points and your paradise rank will rise. You can get paradise points by completing jobs. That makes sense, because now we can build things. It makes sense to, like, add that now. Morning, Neon. Let's give it our all again today. But I am liking, like, the gameplay loop that they're setting up here. Man... Paradise can grow big from that little map. <laughs> I'm just I'm loving this. How much money do I have? I have a lot of money. If you want to prepare some land, then the good is cruel all you need. You want to prepare some land? I do. What kind of place do you want it to be? Some. Uh, this. Got it. Then I'll prepare it to be a real nice, pleasant plane, okay? Your land was prepared to be a pleasant plane. All right, it's all prepared. Go check it out when you've got a sec. Your very first land's been prepared. I don't know why, but I'm getting kind of choked up about it. All right, let's celebrate. I'll give you the materials you need for an Oren field. Take them. An Oren field is one of the facilities you can make here in paradise. But, well, I'm sorry, but... I can't make any facilities from here. When you want to build a facility, you've got to go to the land you've prepared. Check out the signboards you'll find there. So if you want to build that Oren field, go to that field we just prepared and look at the signboard there to get started. Thank you. Now that Paradise has gotten bigger, you can have even more Pokemon join you as your teammates. I didn't even notice that we had a limit. Just yet. <laughs> I'll never understand why fully evolved Pokemon require assistance, but then again, I've seen a timid Tyranitar. You can never tell. Maybe they're just not fighters. Then again, like, there was the Superior that was like, oh, my map got blown away. Advisory Bulletin. Facilities can be constructed on any land that has been prepared. To build a facility, come here. Face one of these signboards and press A to call Girder. You will then be able to build a facility at the location of the signboard. All you need to remember is that when you want to build something, stand in front of the signboard and press A, and you're good to go. Oh, you can have multiple things. Multiple things. <laughs> read more. You read the sign carefully. If you're trying to call me the Great Girder, I can build you a facility wherever you find one of these signboards. We're quick as a flash, and we'll have your new facility up in no time. And the more facilities you build, the better I'll get at building again. I'll be able to make all kinds of things for you. So then, so let's help each other out. You want to build a facility here? What facility do you want to build? Complete lots of jobs to increase your paradise rank, as well as the number of facilities you can build. 
There are two things you need to build a facility. Materials and pokey. Interesting. Berries and seeds. Orin field. Ooh. This specialty shop for berries and seeds. You can buy berries and seeds anytime and sell them for higher prices. As it gets upgraded, it'll carry rare ones. With this field, you can grow orange berries. Plant one and it'll grow for you to harvest while you're on your adventure. As it gets upgraded, you'll harvest more. Eye drop field. With this field, you can grow eye drop seeds. Plant one. Blast field. Normal dojo. This is the move dojo to improve normal type moves. As it gets upgraded, training becomes more effective. You can also raise the moves, power, accuracy, and power points to the max. Very cool. I lack lustrous metal and stone slab. What about grass? Nope. Need lustrous metal and stone slabs for that. But let's do Orenfield like he suggested. Orenfield, you want to build it? All right, come on, you two slackers. Yes, boss. <laughs> Interesting dance they've got going. Ba, ba, ba. Would you look at it? It's done. We built your ore and fair for you. I once had Mr. Girder help me with a bit of business, you see. I was so glad to hear that he's returned to work in his building again. <laughs> this guy just appeared out of nowhere. He didn't even just walk up, just teleported. <laughs> I'll have to do my best as well. Call me if you need anything else. This is the orn field. Give me your orn berry and I'll grow more of them for you. Plant the orange berry in the field. Dig, dig, pluck, pat, pat. Great, I planted the orange berry. Look forward to the harvest, okay? All right, so we need stone slabs and lustrous metals for the dojos. But I like this. This is cool. This is, I love this. This is cool. I love, it's just a cool thing. It, it's super nice that they're like, hey, let's do something different and interesting compared to, like, Rescue Team and Explorers. And I like that it just goes right in with the, like, the theme-ish of the game. I, just, I like it. Nah, we'll, we'll never use the training seed. Let's put that away. Yeah, just, this is so cool. I like it. Man, even an 8-bit version of Don't Ever Forget still has the same feel. It has a very nice, like... What's the word? Rhythm to it. <laughs> I love that they said, You know what this gameplay loop needs? Sim City. But it, like, actually comes into play with, like, affecting it. And I just love it. The game, like, having... Building up Paradise... To have it then come back in. Ooh, a traveling salesman? Interesting. I guess... I wonder where... Uh, maybe they're to the left. I fainted, alright. So now we've entered the everybody's gonna repeat section. Hey, you're a criminal. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm a traveling salesman. But... Like, uh... That other, like, kind of vulture bird constantly uses the word man. So why aren't you a salesman? <laughs> Shouldn't he be using mon then? It was like, mon, this is terrible. A traveling salesman rents this place and opens a shop for a few hours. As I'm a traveler, I don't announce when I'll show up and when I'll leave. What? Your dream is to create a paradise? Perhaps this shop can be built in paradise. If you feel like it, please build one in paradise too. So then, welcome to Steel Dojo. I'll help you work on your steel type moves. What's a you? Well, info. You can train steel type moves here to make them stronger. In dungeons, your moves grow slightly each time you use them to hit an enemy. Similarly, you can come here to train a move once per day. And since you all have such incredible potential, there may be times when your moves grow immensely after a training session. Also, if you bring in one of those rare manuals and use it here, you can raise a move's power, accuracy, or power points. This allows you to customize a move to your liking. 
Don't get, don't you get excited just thinking of the possibilities? Interesting, but I don't have any steel moves. But that's a cool thing. Oh yeah, we already talked to you. I am really liking the flow of this game. Again, dollars to donuts. They're breaking the law. We must murder them now. Meanwhile, in my fan fictions, I'm just careful. It's like, I can't use the word man. That doesn't make sense. It's just like riding around certain phrases. Meanwhile, the official games. Dollars to donuts. Gang. You hurt my soul. And we're going to save our money. Because, uh, well, we'll quickly see what Quagsar has. You should disappear now. <laughs> The word kill does not exist in the Pokemon, uh, like, a uh, dialect. Oh, I don't want to edit party. We're going to keep Verizian. Yes, I like this party. I do not want to change it. I want to look at your shop. Mm, nothing here. Oh, that's beyond... Quickly check my items. Oh yeah, the boxes! I'm an idiot! I need to go check the boxes. Oh, you can even check from here. That's cool. I like this. We need to open our boxes! Meow! I'm the box buster! Bring treasure boxes and I'll bust them up for 150. The shiny box, right? All right, watch this! Woo! Look at that, would you? You got the intimidation skill. Advice bulletin: intimidation skill. The intimidation skill is one of the team's skills. You, if you learn the intimidation skill, you could make attacks of enemies next to you fail. Team skills have effects on all of your teammates. Now we are Dialga. You still got a treasure box? I can smell it on you. Come on, let me open it. Nifty box. Hello, hello. I'm enjoying this wonderful game. The nifty box, right? All right, watch this. Woo! Impressive, right? Here you go. You got... Confagrius, open up now. I am flooded with gold. I want to partake in your gold exchange, Confagrius. They'll probably be liking to say, burn in the internal flame. Get munched on by Groudon. Let's see. Sturdy vine, spring water, fresher, precious. I don't, this, uh, let's see. Stone slab? I do need some stone slabs. Lustrous metal... Is there a lustrous metal stone slab combo? Well, I guess we'll go for some lustrous metals. Ooh, a seven floor hazy pass. Sturdy vine. Hmm, that's another thing. Stone slab spring water. Stone slab rich soil. Again, I guess. Lustrous metal, sturdy vine. Let's a go. Go right away. <laughs> My God, gold! <laughs> My hands hurt like hell. I drew a concept for Mega Charizard Z, and it took four hours. Congratulations! I know that's like trying to like draw a lot in a span of time can really start to give your hands some hurt. But it's also very, like, satisfying. Get you just to have it go good. We are here to annihilate you. Let's make 
sure I'm not missing out on any sparklies. I would like to climb the wood stumps. I need to draw more. Because I did kind of draw a bit today. I drew some... Uh, buh -buh -buh. My attempt at potentially, like, uh, you know how my character here is a PNG tuba. Use it just like, ooh, box, yes. But, like, uh, I'm making concepts for potential, like, Sylveon PNG tuba. Because I've made, like, a Sylveon persona, Pokey Sona, as it were, as a funny aha. Uh -huh. I was like, well, I like Pokemon, why not? So I need to try and, like, so we got the idea of, like, hey, I should make, like, a. Uh, Sylveon, Pokesona, PNG tool, because why not? I've been whittling away at that. It's just mostly a balance of trying to get my brain to function properly, not get distracted, and actually do the things I want to do. Sparkly! Oh, it's an enemy! How dare you get my hopes up! Die! Oh, well, at least I got to level my attack on you. But that would have happened anyway. You're not a gold bar! You're just a gold digger, ain't you? You failed. Now die. Huh, I failed. Now die. But I'm just loving the feel of this game. So good. The music, the graphics. You stole my money, you little whooper. I'm gonna kill you. No one's gonna save you. Not when it's my money on the line. Yeah, and some max elixir. I don't think I've, we've. I don't think we've run into fake items yet. Then again, fake items are kind of rare-ish and more into the late game than anything. But still, I wonder if they even exist in this game. Either I'll run into them or I won't. Vine whip. Hmm, I got a critical hit with that. Haha. <laughs> Die. Hello, die. Hello, die. Double miss, Al. Hey. The double dual drop miss. You dare string shot me from around the corner? You dare string shot my buddy from around the corner? Quit! <laughs> Quit spritzing my partner in your white substance. You heathenous little sawaddle. Let's make sure. Yeah, sparkle sparkles. Guaranteed sparkles. A heel seed, not bad. Fight me! <laughs> You're surrounded. Prepare to die. And another max elixir, exactly what we need. For all your training needs. Dare string shot me, you bastard. I growth. Aha, Thundershock was upgraded. I was given the Jirachi challenge request in PMD Sky. I don't think I got that one. Either of that or I'm dumb. But again, I didn't do that many requests, so it's mostly just like, I'm a story guy. The Sawaddles are stealing my shit. We must kill them now. That all dodge orb is mine. More sparklies. Ba, 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 ba. I, just, I do love this. Again, could just be a minor bias of like, ooh, ooh, I'm playing a mystery dungeon game I hadn't before, and it's a nice experience. Could be a bias there, but man, it's, this is such a great experience for me. 
You dare growl at me? How about no? And you missed anyway. Die. No sparkles from what I could see. But a whooper who is now dead. Another whooper who has come to die at the power of Dual Chop. String shut all you want, you're still gonna die. My Chesto Berry. I wonder if any of the, like... I wonder if any of the Mystery Dungeon games ever tried to fully explain the wild Pokemon. Because I know some of them, like, kind of imply here or there, like at the beginning of Rescue Team. Oh no, the natural disasters are disturbing the Pokemon and they're kind of going mad, but... Otherwise, they don't really- Box! Yeah! Sinister box? What? What's in a sinister box? What would be in a sinister box? But yeah, most of the time, they don't really go into explaining the Pokemon you're fighting. Which is kind of funny in a way. How do you miss a growl? Like, do the sound waves just not reach the opponent's ears? I didn't even notice that. I was just too busy just going along, doing my thing. The enemy miss a growl. I don't even notice. I'm just here to kill them. Do, 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 do. And I guess we'll put you away just in case. Da -da, da -da. I do want to go ahead, actually. Maybe more. some Pokemon are just more intelligent than others? Maybe. A Wooper must die today. An Ardino must die today. How do you miss, Varisian? You good. Level up for who? Lock leveled up! Huzzah! Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. So far, the only thing I'm really missing is the Spinda Cafe. The Spinda Cafe was nice. There's a place to go to to do things. We have come to murderize you. Aha! My intimidation skill annihilated your hopes of ever even uh, looking at me, I guess. Fear me, I am the intimidating Snivy. I just have a natural glare. Die. Money is mine. We're worse than criminals. We just kill you to take your money. Which might sound like something a criminal would do, but we do it even worse. Even more criminally. <laughs> Don't you miss HMs too? You always speak so fondly of them. No. Not at all. Like, there could have possibly be a way to do... HMs, interestingly, but, like, I'm glad they're gone, because they they just acted as gatekeeping, wasted an item slot, or forced you to uh, forget a move. I can't wait for, the, uh, for me to get ahead uh, in the generations of Pokemon so that I can eventually be done with HMs in the mainline games, too. How dare you hit me. Now you die! Da, 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 da. Huh, not that way. It's time to move forward. Are you ready to go ahead? I don't know. Are you? Are you ready to die? You've arrived at the floor where Timpole is. The Ardino gang is stealing my money! And my berries! All of these... 
Quit stealing my things. Uh, those are mine. And Verizon is out to kill now. Mine. <laughs> Unfortunately, Gen 5 still has HMs, but at least TMs are infinite, so you can just relearn the move you deleted for an HM. Oh, I love that! That is so cool. That is a good thing. I love it. That's cool. Honestly, I probably wouldn't even mind HMs if they just kept that. Infinite TMs. Infinite TMs. So you can, yeah, just temporarily learn it. Granted, that's kind of scuffed ways to just have infinite HMs. And you just don't have to learn an HM to use it. Would probably be simplified. It's like, do you have a Pokemon that can use an HM? Uh, okay, then you can use the HM just wherever. Again, I love that I can just look at my partners and be like, hey, <laughs> huzzah, dance. Oh, Swoobat is looking for me. Thank you for letting me know. Now get out of here. I'm here to look for more items. I'm an item goblin in this game. If only I could find, like, resources in dungeons. Doo -doo, doo -doo. Always look in this one first, because it's always just a dead end. Still kind of interesting that it's programmed that way. <laughs> Gen 5 had all the good features, but long cutscenes. Hmm. Which means... Story! I'm always fine with cutscenes so long as they provide good story. I'm gonna use you as a punching bag to level up my... My beloved Vine Whip. My stab will be only stabbier. This is a fun experience. Pokemon is fun. Except for, like, RNG catch mechanics. Those can be annoying for legendaries. But otherwise, fun times. Not really cutscenes, just dialogue. That's kind of what I expect from cutscenes from a Pokemon game. Dialogue. Sprites moving. I need an obscure reference to name my Jirachi. That's what I did when I caught the Lake Trio. They are an, Those names are an obscure reference to a singular thing that I doubt anybody's ever gonna get. Thank you for finding Tim Pull for me. I'll give you this as a reward. Money. And lustrous metal. And sturdy vine. And an eye drop seed. And paradise points. Oh, we reached bronze. Neat. What's more, you've received a prize for raising the rank! Yay! Your bag can now hold up 32 things! Yes! And now I can buy a sunken treasure? A blinker field, that makes sense. A totter field, that makes sense. A stun field, that makes sense. A prize palace? A bug dojo, that makes sense. A poison dojo, makes sense. Rock dojo. And receive two Reviver Seeds, and three Reviver- okay, and a Grass Gift? Just, I got a ton of things. Morning, Neon. Let's give it our all again today. I am loving this game. I think this might be the best gameplay loop for a Mystery Dungeon game. Because normally it's just like, hole de hole Let's see. Sunken Treasure. Uh, this is a game where you dive into the water and collect treasures. You may find rare items among them. I think I did set this up so that I could do, like, the tilting. But I'm not sure. We'll do that sometime. Prize Palace. This is a fun shop where you can try instant scratch and random tickets. As it gets upgraded, these tickets will be upgraded too. Interesting. I can immediately 
make a prize palace. Before any dojo. We'll have to see. Okay, so stone slabs. Rich soil, precious branch. Basically, just need everything. But stone slabs. It's like, but this is so cool. I like it. So much to experience. Let's organize our things. We'll withdraw some money. Organize our Bobbity Ba. Uh, at least now that we've upgraded our Bobbity Ba, things aren't too bad. What's a grass? Give it to a grass type po enemy Pokemon to become friends. But you can't befriend evolved Pokemon this way. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's see, what's in here? Red key that we'll never use. Could have started, we got a sinister box. Could have sworn we got a sinister box, but I guess it just isn't there. <laughs> oh, did you calibrate your official Nintendo 3DS system? Tilting functions? Why, yes, I did. At least I think I did. I tested it somewhere. I'll have to test it again before we get there. Do 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 do. Do do do. I've also tested my official 3DS Nintendo system, like, uh, camera feature as well. Can do that if things call for it. <laughs> the gifts are basically Pokeballs, but PMD, I've never knew them to exist. <laughs> the 3DS is so real, I'm dying at the thought of it. The most realist thing in the world. That's how real it is. Let's talk to you. What can we do? Cannot prepare anything. <laughs> Although he did a good job of turning that wasteland into like a normal place. Let's see. Materials. Because berries and seeds. Let's see if we can get a precious branch and rich soil. Because that's definitely going to be something we want. Oh, but stone slabs are now unavailable. Because we need... I already forgot the one thing. It's rich soil and something else. I'm a, I'm a brain. Uh, precious branch. We need branch and soil. But now they're giving away all the stone slabs. Two bre uh, precious branches for that one. Let's see. Uh, dream treasure, famous stone. Well, I guess we'll go do this one because we get two precious branches. If you hit X, you can filter by reward. I know, I just want to look at like all the rewards to... Get my full options. It's not like I'm specifically aiming for that one. It's more just like I'm b glancing around to see what is available. Fight me and die. And die they did. Wait, I'm enjoying this. This is fun. Because, like, again... The gameplay has never been my biggest thing when it comes to Mystery Dungeon games. So, for them to actually go 
and give a proper gameplay loop to the gameplay. I love it. Because the main problem with the normal gameplay loop was just that, oh, you go to dungeon, you get money and rewards, and that's basically it. Okay, the... <laughs> that, that spawn is purely for people who are like, oh, they're never going to put anything in these little alcoves. Purely to punish those people. But yeah, back to my thought. It's just like, the gameplay loop of the other games is fine, but it's only really functional. Because there isn't anything really to work towards except, oh, raise your rank, get stronger, get Pokemon. Here, like, they add something on top of that that feeds back into the gameplay. Like, oh, you can get stronger, you can get items. And you go to on these adventures to then... Do those things like, hey, it's a cool loop, I like it. It's super cool. I like it, I like it a lot. Ah, oh, we missed the funny number health, exp uh, health point. You dare? My tackles will out-level you eternally. And yeah, now that I know about, like, the... the level up mechanic for attacks, I can totally excuse them gutting the basic attack. I can accept that now. Goodbye. More gold! Can Vagrace open up now? I have so much gold for you! I have so much gold. Sorry, we already have a whooper. I like, again, that it tells you. Yeah, this is... This is so good! Yeah. I might... I might be saying something utterly heathenous up in here. But... If the story lands home... If the story... Utterly guts me. I may very well... This might very well be my favorite mystery dungeon if the story hits home. Because the gameplay, like, upgrades are just that good. But it all comes down to story for me. It needs to have a fantastic story. For me to properly declare it my favorite mystery dungeon game. Only time will tell. Will you topple sky for me, Gates, uh, gates to Infinity? <laughs> will the... What I hear to be like, everybody's like... Least favorite mystery dungeon game in comparison to the others... Will it manage to be my favorite? I've been tempted to do an entire playthrough of each of the games in the series, but only using regular attacks against enemies, no damage items, no status, just bonk. You are in for pain if you do that, I just know it. Especially once you get to, like, gates. Because it's restricted to five damage. Like, Rescue Team and Explorers, you could maybe do that if you grind a lot. But it would be so much grinding. Yeah, I think it's a good story, but that's just me. Personal taste always comes into it. I'll just have to wait and see to judge it myself. Plus, the main antagonist is one of my favorite Pokemon ever. Mm. We'll have to see then. I love the primary concept of the game story being nihilism versus optimism. It is a very, like, it is a nice hook. How the Pokemon act initially. And, I, like, how they're setting everything up. I do like that a lot. Sparkles! Escape Orb. Nice. In this game, it is <gasps> Sparkles and Chest. Those are the things I look for. Is 
Sorry, Swaddle, we already have one. But I just, like, the only reason why I don't think that this will topple Explorers of Skies because Explorers of Sky is just such a good story. It got me so invested. The music, the story, the characters. It just worked so well. So I'm not sure if it'll be able to fully topple it. Because again, the post game to explore the sky is so good. And continues the story. And the story itself was already good. And the special episodes were also really good. It's just like everything in Sky was so good. Well, at least most things in Sky were really, really good. There are some things that are kind of eh at times. But overall, super, super good. Because, like, gameplay-wise, gameplay-wise, this is probably the best gameplay Mystery Dungeon has ever had, at least to me. The best Mystery Dungeon uh, gameplay I myself have experienced. But what really makes a Mystery Dungeon game is the story and how much it rips out your heart. That is how I truly judge a Mystery Dungeon game. If it can make me cry, well, it already got me teary-eyed with the timber. But that was mostly because I was doing, like, a voice for them, and for some reason, that really got me emotionally connected to them automatically. Take it. So, like, if it can get me in there. Really, really. Then things will just be grand. I think this game is classified as a Gen 5 game, which is funny to me, because it's a 3DS game, but Black and White and Black and White 2 are DS games. That is funny. Like, it's just a funny thing where... how generations work for Pokemon, I guess. Frisian just on a murder spree back there. Gotta pick up all the money. Try to find the boxes. Explore everywhere. So we get all of the items. Oh, and today I saw fantastic fan art for Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, which was kind of a uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon crossover with uh, uh, Legends Arceus. Where it was like uh, Ingo was a Typhlosion... And, uh, Akari was a, uh, an Eevee. And it's just, like, the great art that artist drew. And, like, creating, like, personality. Or, like, uh, taking the personality of the characters from Legends Arceus and then, like, applying certain, like, mystery dungeon things to them. It's just, like, it was a very cool fan art. Get 69, the whooper. The power of Vine Whip will kill you. I have healed the man who will kill you. This is a tiny room. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. So you have chosen death. My level 3 tackle will annihilate you. If only more people use tackle. I should have looked at what Famous Stone did. For amusements. Thank for getting the Famous Stone. I'll give you this as a reward. And Precious Branch. And Sturdy Vine. And Faux Fear Orb. And 30 points. Now I need rich soil.
to make the what the fuck? Cool cutscene, but what? Didn't expect that. Morning, Neon. Let's give it our all again today. <laughs> you throw that at me and you. It did it. But one thing I also like is that. All right, sparkles. But one thing I also like is that because like the gameplay loop makes it so that like uh in between story beats you feel good about doing like missions. It doesn't feel like, oh, I'm just going through the motions, you're actually working towards something. OMG everyone get ready, here comes the boy. Well apparently the boy is coming. Ah morning everyone except where's the Molga? Huh? Yeah well what I said, where's the Molga? You're right. Where did he go? He was definitely with us a minute ago. Sparkles. Whoa! What's with the wind? Oh, hi! Wasn't it that old V-Wave? Indeed. It surely what is the V-Wave. Is it already that time of, uh, time again? What's a V-Wave? The vagina wave. Oh, it died down. What was it? That strange wind just now. It didn't feel... It didn't really feel like a normal breeze. It's the V-Wave. The V-Wave? It's a strange wind that always begins to blow around this time of year, you know. Fire, water, electric. There's a wave for each of the Pokemon types. Say a fire wave is blowing one day, for example. Then fire-type Pokemon will be stronger than usual and level up easier, get it? I think so. So basically, it'd be a really good day to be a fire type, huh? Ah, but isn't that bad news for anyone who's not a fire type? <laughs> you noticed, did you? But it's not all bad news. The V-Wave is just like any other weather phenomena. It changes every day. So it's not like you'll always be at a disadvantage or an advantage. That's a cool mechanic. Guys! Hello, Emoga. Ah, Emoga! Where did you run off to? Never mind that, just get yourselves over to the Paradise Center. Quagsire wants everybody there. What? Quagsire? What for? I can't believe Amolga will be the first one to betray us. He's our Judas. <laughs> Was that Australian, German, Scottish, or all three? For the voice I did for that dog Pokemon. <laughs> Every type other than fairy. Hilarious how two-fourths of people are grass types. <laughs> Mm, right. All done. Mm, good timing. The um, V-Wave season is upon us, so I thought I'd slap something together. Mm. What is it, this thing? It shows the V-Wave cast. Play Butcher in his voice. The V-Wave cast? What? You don't even know about that? <laughs> Fine. Then I guess the great Scraggy will t do you dim with a special favor and... Hmm? <laughs> the slow turn. Beep! Uh, no, I mean, I just love the chance to tell you all about it. Uh, for starters, the wave type changes every day. That's no different from how the weather works, right? Normally you kind of wonder what about what the weather's going to be each day, right? So any twerp in the know will check the weather forecast. Same for V-Waves. The V-Wave cast will tell you the wave types for the next couple of days. In other words, it's like a weather report just for V-Waves. Ah, just look at the stupid board already, would you? You can see the different types, right? It's true. Today's a fighting type wave and tomorrow's electric. And then water. I get it. And since today is a fighting type wave, fighting type Pokemon have an advantage. Since I'm a normal type, I'm always weak to fighting types. That means that I'd ha if I want to go out adventuring today, I guess I'd better be extra careful around fighting type enemies. But then tomorrow I'll be an electric V-Wave. You won't always have it so bad, Dunsparce. And then I'll be the one getting an extra shot of power. Ha! Mm-hmm. That pretty much sums it up, hmm? You all should, mm, use the V-Wave caps just like that. What? What is that? 
Meteor! Where's Rayquaza when you need him? Up there! It's gonna crash! It's headed right for us! It, run for it! Not the V-Wave cast, we just set that up! <laughs> what? You crashed down, immediately set up shop? What? Ta-da! This Victini's here! What just happened? Well, if it ain't Victini, what's with the flashy entrance, huh? And crashing down like this? That means you're opening shop here this year. Yep, right here. I decided without asking. Lucky you, huh? V Wheel! Gerder, you know this guy? Sorta. Though it's not just me, everyone here knows him. He's called Victini. He always shows up when V Wave season rolls around. And what's that thing? That? That's my precious. V Wheel! It's the tool of my trade, totally. Spin this right here and you can change today's V Wave. What? Do you mean you can change the V Wave type? Yep. With my trusty V-Wheel! You sure can, definitely. But it's all up to luck. No guarantee. And the V-Wheel! Can only be spun once a day. With only one chance, you better not blow it. Nope. But if you make enough pokey, who knows? You could all pick a type, any type you like. Or maybe not. Find out for yourself. V-Wheel! He really likes that V-Wheel. Victini, it's been ages, hasn't it? Ah, Verizon! Long time no see! You're living here now, obviously. And you're just as lively as ever, aren't you? But you know the whole V-Wheel and striking a pose thing? You may want to tone it down or other Pokemon could get annoyed, you know? Yeah, you're right about that. I get it. I'm gonna stop. Absolutely. Maybe. <laughs> V-Wheel! He amuses me. Neon and Locke? Victini might seem a bit much, but he's a really nice Pokemon deep down. He wanted to help out the Pokemon who are inconvenienced by the V-Wave, and that's why he travels around the world with his V-Wheel, you know? Yep! I go around and around the world! Around and around and around! And my V-Wheel goes around and around with me! <laughs> V-Wheel! I find him amusing. Well, anyway, you should probably only use the V-Wheel when you really need it. In other words, only when you feel you absolutely must change the V-Wave, okay? Yeah, you're probably right about that. Neon, we can only spin the V-Wheel once a day, so let's think carefully before using it, okay? <laughs> Bro has a whole ass game show set up in the Meteor. I love him. Wasn't there... I think I remember hearing a thing where Victini was, like, meant to have a bigger role in this game, but then they, like, cut it, so they made him the V-Wheel guy or something? Or was that another Pokemon? Like, they were meant to have a bigger role or, like, be a starter, but then they decide either not to or they cut it or, like, time constraints, so they resign them to a, like, blah, blah, blah. I forget. You have to think about the V-Wave on any given day, you know? You may end up wanting to change your party members. Or I suppose you could just try to change the type of the V-Wheel. At any rate, I'll leave all those decisions up to you, Neon. Neon, good luck out there. But I'm really liking this game. It's fun. Alright, now we need two rich soil. Price power sounds nice, but... Mm, fun... Can get a prize palace. But I want to set up things that I can actually use first. We need stone slabs and rich soil. The music playing is very nice.
this music is very, very nice. I love it. I love it. I'm gonna have to find this music. This is good. Another day, another request, right? Let's show how it's done. I, I was talking to Amolga. All right, then. Guess we've got to give it our all again today. I'm loving this. Oh, I did. There you are. I wonder why they're not in the normal deposit box. Hmm. Wait, I'm just... I'm enjoying this. This is great. Again, may very well be my favorite mystery dungeon game if only the story can stack up. A new traveling salesman, you hear? Is it that you're back again, you blasted V-Wave? We can only spin the V-Wave once a day, so let's think carefully before using it, okay? Let's do our best at our request today. Is a V-Wave really that much of a big deal? I still don't really get it. Stupid V-Wave makes me feel all out of sorts. I hate it, hate it, hate it! I'm the box buster. Bring treasure boxes and I'll bust them open for you. That pretty box, right? All right, what's this? Woo! Look at that, would you? You got the second chance skill. Ooh, advice bulletin. Second chance skill. The second chance skill is one of the team skills. If you learn the second chance skill, when you use a move and fail to hit your enemy, the hit rate of your move will be greatly boosted during the next turn. The second attack's accuracy goes up. That's the second chance skill. Interesting. You still got a treasure box. I can smell it on you. Come on, let me open it. The sinister box, right? All right, what's this? Woo! Impressive, right? Here you go. You got... Can Vagrius open up right now? I have so many gold bars. So many gold bars. <laughs> Gotta go. Bye. Thank you for stopping by, because this, this is fun. This is very nice. I guess there's always gold bars. Would something like that be good? That child over there has been staring this way for some time. Could it be? Has he awoken the glories of the sparklies at such a tender age? <laughs> ah, but I'm afraid the store is still not open for business. Oh, I am unworthy. <laughs> but if you do have any sparklies, no excuses about accidentally selling them to anyone else you hear. <laughs> Hello, this is a space for traveling salesman. This is a shop that doesn't exist in Paradise yet. You just, how dare you hurt me. In Paradise, you can upgrade shops to make them more, con more convenient. So then, welcome to the Dragon Dojo, my boy. Lock. What dragon type moves can we? Let's power up that dual trap. Yes. All right, let's do it. Yeah! Hiya! Door trap grew a little bit. Huzzah! Very handy. Gold! Exactly. When a Pokemon of the same type as the V-Wave goes into a dungeon, many different good things might happen. They might get their dick sucked. Ah, when the V-Wave becomes water type, I just can't get worked up about exploring dungeons, you know? It really is the V-Wave season, isn't it? Ah, I want to talk to the pan plant. Dang it. The green one. I want to talk to the green one. My grass brother. There we go. When V-Wave season comes around, it's always real tough for the three of us to adventure together, that is. No one seems to be able to relax once the V-Wave starts blowing. Though, of course, if you bring along some friends who watch the V-Waves, match the V-Waves type, that would make your adventure smooth sailing. But, of course, you have to have friends of different types to do that. It is an interesting mechanic. I'm somehow holding out here, Trump Trump. The food's good after all. I just filled my belly again, Trump Trump. This guy's voice changes every single time I talk to him. You know, I can't help expelling unbelievably foul-smelling gas sometimes, Trump Trump. Would you mind if I let out some right here now? How dare you. Maybe that's just his way of getting people to leave. 
so the V-Wave has come. I guess you'll be needing some items then, why don't you? Welcome to the Kecleon shop. Take all the time you like. Pokemon that are same type as the V-Wave have quite the advantage. Not only can they gain more experience points upon defeating an enemy in battle, but their moves also appear to be more accurate. However, these effects don't just extend to your team members. Your enemies also get these same advantages. You'd better be careful at that point. So the V-Wave's fly flying around, eh? Indeed it is. Gives you a reason to use lots of different Pokemon in your teams, but lets you just ignore it if and use your favorites slash story-relevant ones. Which is very cool. It's like, if you want to min-max, you can min-max hard. But if you just want to relax and go about your own day, you can. This is cool. Welcome to the Quacksire Assembly. What you got in your shop? What you got in your shop? Round? What is round? It damages enemies. It causes more damage if your teammate is in the same room. Just use the same move. Weird. Alright, we're gonna put our money away. No, we don't. I, I do kind of miss having a banker to talk to. I understand, like, the convenience aspect, but still. I miss the personality. All right, we need stone slabs and rich soil, I think. Well, we can get rich soil and a stone slab. Two stone slabs. Hmm. Again, this music that's playing is super cool. I love it. I guess we'll do this one. Yeah. Rescue Simisage. Get two stone slabs and rich soil. Go right now. So you're gonna head out for the job help Simisage? The request gate is now open. Good luck with your job. I also like the selection of Pokemon they've thrown into this game. It's interesting. I like it. You've already stolen from me. Prepare to die. This game is just so fantastic. Get blasted. Aha, heavy box. Heavy box. Heavy box! Heavy box, Verizian, no! Verizian, you bitch! Get back here! Ah, well. Oh. Immediately enters room. Immediately leaves room. Guess it is an, like a... Da -da 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 -da. Like again, best mystery dungeon gameplay so far. I'm loving it. Da -da 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 -da. You will give me that money, or you will die. Never mind, you're just going to die. Because, like, the one thing that, like, Rescue Team and Explorers kind of missed was a sense of proper progression on all fronts. Because it still had progression. But it just, sometimes it just felt like you were exploring for the sake of exploring. But in this one, it feels like a lot of things just feed into each other, which is just such good game design. Haha, you missed, idiot. Die! 
You will enter a dead end eventually, you tell Paul. Road die. Like, this is one of those games that I feel like I could stream for a long, long time. Yeah, <laughs> dainty box. Dainty box. You want to come down here and die? You want to come down here and die? Boing whip. Ah, shit. Die. Oh, money! <laughs> Almost sounded like uh, Mario there. Oh, there's some money on the floor. Give it to me, motherfucker. That's my money. Do you want to keep your kneecaps? Then give it here. I'm just loving this. I feel like a broken record because it's like I, I just say it again and again and again. Fury tech all you want, you're still gonna die. No. Verezian is just eating up this fighting type V wave, I guess. String shot all you want, you're still going to die. Still gonna die. I also like that it seems that status effects seem to go away faster if you, like, uh, bu -bu if you've uh, un eliminated the enemy. It just feels nice. Son of a bitch. Also, I like that it seems like uh, they've made it so that confusion is less annoying to move around with. So you can still, like, move forward or back in tunnels. Which is nice. It's like the music. Everything. Just love it. Get intimidated, idiot. And I got upgraded Vine Whip. Now I can learn from Cat Quagsire the ways of the Dominatrix. Well, actually, there's more ways to go. I'm a fool. Silly Pet Lil, you're gonna die. Tackle. The only downside of the super attack, like, team attack move is, like, I'm never going to use it until I feel like I have to. And by the time that I have to, I will have forgotten it. I keep forgetting that you exist. Oh, neat. We can trade places with him. Neat. You are a bastard. This is just a chill time and I love it. Use bind all you want, you will still die. Why don't you bide your time and die? <laughs> I defeated an outlaw Blissey and got an egg. It feels like you kidnapped somebody.
from a <laughs> from the resident egg holder. Or maybe you instead like saved an egg from an egg thief. Are you the egg thief? You decide! Oh boy! Box! Alright, there's just a lot of dudes in here and a lot of items. <laughs> Goodbye, fool. So many items, so much money. Oh. I'm just pleasantly surprised by this, because I just kept hearing they're like, ah, oh, this one it's not as good personally. I'm adoring this. It just has such personality. It's fantastic. Well, no wonder all the items were in here. <laughs> this dungeon's basically one room. Ah, of course you would. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Orb. Ba 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 ba. You dare bubble me, the grass type? Well, there's murder happening behind us. Oh, hey, mine. Up oh, their mind, they already came back. Good. And 69 gold. Nice. And pack a berry. We picked the pack a berry. And it is ours now. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba 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 ba We'll quickly come up here to check out the not so empty room. And we'll quickly check up here because I feel like this place will finish off faster. You keep using that. Stop. Why is it even called round? It's a, it sounds like it's a sound. It should be like sound, not round. Ba -ba -ra 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 -ta -da. This is just a this is just chill. I love it. Again, I just love the fact that they throw in highly story-centric party members beyond just the partner, which is just a cool thing. I didn't know that that was a part of it. You'd think I would see more like Mystery Dungeon fan art with like Emolga as like part of the team going about doing things. But I've never seen that. At least I don't think so. Or maybe it did exist and I just overlooked it because I didn't know. We must kill the String Shotter. String Shotter is now dead. How dare you follow us? Now die. Poor you. Super effective. We will accept you. Now, what is your name? You're a ghost type candle. Hmm. And you evolve into like a lantern and a chandelier. I'm just trying to think. I 
I don't know any ghosts, really. I mean, I guess I can call you Casper. Basic bitch name, but... Eh. Casper has joined the com. Now go home, Casper, where we'll probably never use you. You dare bubble me from around the corner? You dare confuse my friend from around the corner? Die with you. Ba -ba 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 -boom. Well, at least we went down the dead end way. So the full exploration can properly take place. Ah, ha, ha, you fool! You tried to confuse, but now you're just dead. No one wants you, Tim Pole. I have eight gold. I have eight gold! Confagrius, please. I want to spend gold. I listened to Bill Cipher and I bought gold. It's more like I found gold. You arrived at the floor where Simisage is. Die. Okay, good. <laughs> one after the one. It was less likely to take damage and therefore wouldn't get plucked. Like a bird. Simisage. Let me rescue you, and then we'll finish off this floor. Thank you for saving me. I would not. There are items on the floor. Health orb? Oh, our bag's too full. Damn it. So maybe we should just leave. It's an all dodge, but we have a few all dodges, I think. So it's... All right, just murder is happening down there. Ow! I'll go. I'll go diagonally. Damn it! Of course, because you're stupid little. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Now you're dead. And now you're trapped in the flames. I'll, I'll eat one of our orange berries and replace it. Did all, just all the enemies enter right as we left to attract... Oh, yeah, we never did fix you, I don't think. Because you're still on... Like, uh... Yeah. You're still on the I will hunt down the enemies and nuke their families mode. Ba 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 ba. I'm trying to remember how long I played like, Super Mystery Dungeon. Because I don't remember how long. Because if Super Mystery Dungeon takes after Gates to Infinity and how it paces things, I might not have experienced, like, everything. So, like, things like, uh, Tactic Meeting, Boxes, everything... Might not have come up yet when I when I was playing Super Mystery Dungeon. Hiya! Thank you for saving Simisage for me. I'll give you this as a reward. Money and stone and rich soil and a trading seed and forty paradise points. I think next mission we do should rank up our paradise. By the way, who is give we saved before dawn. 
What's going to happen? I just realized. It's in the middle of the night. Okay. Mm, uh. Oh, back to this again. Is this a dream? Help! Ah! What? That was... Locke is still asleep. So it really was a dream, huh? That voice, though. The voice in that dream. It's the second time I've heard that voice calling for help. The first time was just before I came here to this world. Might you be a human? If you are, then please listen to my plea. I want you to save the Pokemon world. We need your... Help! Now that I remember it, didn't that voice say something about saving the Pokemon world? I've come all the way here to this world, but I still don't know what it is that I'm here for. I was hoping I'd figure it out if I stick around for a while, but, but nothing's happened so far. But I did have that dream, at least. Maybe that voice is, will be able to give me some hint as to why I'm here. But that Pokemon was calling for help. The third time we see this utterly horrific animation. I wonder if she's still even okay. I hope so. But I wouldn't have heard her voice if she wasn't okay, right? And I guess maybe she's still being chased. <laughs> chased for months on end! I've got to find a way to help her. The next morning. Ah. Huh? Neon, you're already up? I get it. You wanted to get this exciting day started sooner, right? The truth is actually just that I couldn't sleep a wink after that. But worrying about it won't help anything. I guess I can't do anything but wait until I get some kind of new clue. If that dream really is the key to understanding everything, then maybe I'll be able to see something more next time. At any rate, hope it's a good morning. Let's give it our all again today. Ah, we can build berries and seeds! Berries and seeds, berries and seeds. Oh, hey, I forgot to check in on you. Hey, look, the orange berry crop is ready for harvest. Ah, nice. This is the orange field. And now we just have infinite orange berries now. Oh, hey, people are just walking around. Is this where my recruited Pokemon go? What are you doing? That's rude. I'm your master. Let's create an amazing paradise. See, that makes more sense. Come on, Girder. You want to build a facility here. What facility do you want to build? If you'd like to learn about the particular facility. Yeah, we already know that. Berries and seeds. Berries and seeds. You want to build it? All right. Come on, you two slackers. Yes, boss. Here we go, the dance of destruction. Ba, ba, ba. Would you look at that? It's done. We built your berries and seeds for you. I once had Mr. Gooder help me with a bit of business, you see. I was so glad to hear that he's returned to work and is building things again. I'll have to do my best as well. Call me if you need anything else. Shops that sell only one type of item have very specialized selection of goods. They'll also purchase wonder orbs and seeds from you at a higher price than other shops. Welcome, you can find it. You can always find just what you're looking for at Berries and Seeds. I'll even buy your berries and seeds at a high price. So basically, if I'm looking for specific things, this is a good place to get them. Oh, an encourage seed. It makes all attacks sure to hit and boost critical hits rates for a while. The more teammates, the longer the effect. Nice. Ah, my, 
My my ba 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 is too up. I guess I'll grab an encourage seed just in case. Now, now let's see. We can build the prize palace if we want. Oh, we can buy a grass dojo. Uh, no, nothing. You want to build a facility here? What facility do you want to build? Something that I can use. The Grass Dojo. Grass Dojo, you want to build it? All right, come on, you two slackers. Yes, boss. This is cool. I like it a lot. I just... Everything in this game is so cool. That doesn't feel like a grass-type dojo. I guess there are grass things at the top. Would you look at that? It's done! We built your grass dojo for you. I once had... <laughs> All of you have the same dialogue. I mean, no care. We built so many facilities that it looks like we're gonna run out of space. We better prepare some new land. All right, I feel like I could do some real preparing now. You can now prepare a new type of land. Neat. And my clearance skill has gone up. I think I've come up with something new. Yeah, that's right, I can prepare land to be Cool Creekside now. Wanna try? Well, when you wanna prepare some land, just get the materials and stop by. Oh, and my skills as a carpenter have gotten a bit better. Now I'll be able to retrofit the facilities we built already. And even upgrade them to something better. Think about it. You can now upgrade facilities. Call me if you need anything else. I need to go get my items. Or like a... I didn't want to come in here. I got sucked in. It was a vortex. Is this... A request board too? Advice bulletin! A mysterious gate has appeared! What in the world could it be for? I suppose you'll just have to play more to find out the truth! And then just went away. Is this a request board too? Find out the truth! Look forward to it! Huh. Interesting. Are other people building on our land? That's what, that's what it feels like. Okay, we'll send in one. Send in all the berries. Put that away. One health orb. And the all power orb. We have three dainty boxes to get through, too. Well, let's see. Do we have any boxes in here? There are no. Good, good. Money. Withdraw. No slacking, Neon. It's another busy day. Let's go get some requests done. Getting the land prepped and facilities built? You can leave it all to us. We got this. Just you wait. Let's see. Preparing land. Coolside Creek. I need spring water and rich soil. Good morning, Neon. Welcome to my V-Wheel! It spins around. Got it, current weave cave is coming up! Ah, electric. And then water, dragon, in three days. Neat. Not even tells you, like, the specific thing. That's a cool graphic. Alright, so we need the water and rich soil to make more stuff. But I want to see, like, what upgrades might cost and skip. I'll take this much to upgrade your orange field. So we need ancient soil. Interesting.
What about this? What will it take to upgrade our seeds and berries? Ancient soil and heavy lumbar. So we need special tea thingy need these. But hey, you up here, train me in your ways. Welcome to the grass dojo. I'll help you on your grass type moves. Me, of course. And my vine whip. Yes. All right, let's do it. That's a good use of money, I guess. Levels up my skills slightly. But now let's go and open up these boxes at town. Oh, the gift shop is open. I thought it was going to be Confagrius. Welcome to the Kecleon shop. How can I help you? Ba ba ba. Today's weather is lovely, isn't it? It quite makes you want to kick back and let your guard down. But that won't do. This is just between you and me, of course, but... Well, the world being what it is, you often hear tales, don't you? That some kind seeming Pokemon turns out to be a villain, that sort of thing. What? Me? I'm not a villain, of course! Oh, my dear Sh Chinchio is... All right. I'm the box buster. Bring boxes and I'll bust them up. Heavy box. Heavy box, all right? All right, watch this! Woohoo! Impressive, right? Here you go. Gold ribbon? You still got a treasure box, I can smell it on you. Come on, let me open it! Dainty box. But any box, right? All right, watch this. Woo! Impressive, right? Here you go. Insomniscope. Neat. You still got a treasure box. Come on, let me open it. Glittery box. All right, watch this. Whoa! Impressive, right? Here you go. The More gold bar. When will he open? Let me guess. I guess you're the Pokeball seller. You give me gifts, and I can basically guarantee to get a simple Pokemon. Neon, sorry to have kept you waiting. As of today, the gift shop is open once more. Send a friend gift, and even an enemy can quickly become a friend. To make a gift, you'll need to get together an item and some Pokey and talk to Cynthia. Fun to give and fun to receive. Everyone loves a gift shop. I can create a gift to suit your liking. Pokemon information co contains details about the Pokemon you've encountered. Any Pokemon you meet on your adventure will be added to this section. <laughs> Where to find unknown. 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 Well, actually not unknown. <laughs> do, do. Hello you, Trump Trump. In the end, I couldn't help myself. I had to expel gas right in the end, Trump Trump. Yes, I certainly did, Trump Trump. I was so embarrassing, I've decided to set out a little journey, Trump Trump. Good for you. Your anxiety shall make you a better person. Or utterly annihilate you, either or. Yep, yep, yep. I want to train his dear locks double chop. Thank you for sticking around. You were perfect. Dual chop. Yes. All right, let's do it. Yeah. Just grew a little bit. I do like the idea of the the dojos for training moves. It's cool. Tis a right strange thing it is. These days none could can say what's fate awaits our world. Indeed, indeed, all seems dark. Yet when you look upon this, we're bonds having their fun. Here can I help but think there still must be a spark of hope out there. Where do you want to go exploring next? My vote's for Breezy Meadow. Let's go to Breezy Meadow. This is just a sweet town. Ba ba ba. I got 69 in both ways. Well, then again, uh, yeah, both ways. 
It's only if you turn it upside down, upside down, that things would be bad. And it would be like 969 instead. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It can be sold for big money. Loads of money. We'll get rid of deposit you as well. I guess I'll sell to you. I'll give you 1500 for it. How does that sound? Well, I do want to sell a game. Imagine if you accidentally keep spamming, and it's just like, like, they keep offering me this gold ribbon, but then taking it away. What's going on with them? We'll do one more normal adventure. Try to get the materials for the da da da. So we need spring water and rich soil. I think just one rich soil and one more. Yep, we need one spring water and one rich soil. So let's see. Let's see, uh. Alright, so we don't have much in terms of other things, but let's see. We can get another stone slab to begin making our own dragon training room. Hmm. Yeah, probably for the best. Go right away. So you're heading off for the job I want to give it as a gift? Indeed I do. The request gate is now open. Good luck with your job. Yes. Yeah, I'm really, really digging this game. Annihilation has befell that poor man. You steal my heel seed, you're gonna need it in a second. I'm gonna give you the dead status effect. I mean, now I wonder, how does a reviver seed work in the world? Because, like, the edgy idea could be that, like, a reviver seed literally revives the, like, recently deceased, healing their body enough so that they can come back to life. So basically, like, turbo uh, defibrillator. But then, like, uh, the more likely one is that it's just, like, a super-duper heal, but it's, like, dangerous to use unless someone really needs it. So kind of like the, uh, I think it was in One Piece, the Death's Door lunchbox, where it's just, like, if you're on Death's Door and you eat it, you'll get, like, all the nutrients you need. But if you are perfectly fine and you eat it, it'll actually kill you from overload. I could see that being how... Reviver Seeds work. There's just so many interesting ways you could... ...consider... ...the Pokémon... ...mechanics. What am I going there for? Down here will probably lead to a room. I'm just loving it. Hello, you. I'm gonna murder you. I level up for Locke. Huzzah! And he wants to learn a move. He wants to learn Scary Face. Lowers enemies' travel speed for a while. Honestly, I don't care. Yes. But if you eat a reviver seed, nothing happens. Hmm. I wonder if you can you if you even can consciously eat one. I guess you can. Hmm. Just one of those mysteries. Why does it only work when you get knocked out? Who knows? 
But again, it's just like one of those things that you can just interpret in your own way. Well, somebody decided to murder. We're leaving the room. A Pokemon spawns. A Mocha immediately turns around and nukes them off the face of the planet. Cover band? What kind of cover band? Holder takes an attack for an ally in a pinch. Interesting. That's cool. I don't think I've seen that one before. I like the different kinds of bands they're throwing in here. You dare? It smacked. You leer at me, I kill you. How dare you. You keep missing. Stop. I once heard a fig that had reviver seeds be the souls of those who died in dungeons being reborn. And when someone dies with them nearby, they can help, uh, they can't help but give their new, uh, cha uh, chance up in order to prevent it. What happened to them and revive them becoming inert. Hmm. That's interesting lore. I don't think I've heard anything as intricate as that. Usually they're just like... ...ish-ish the same ju in, as in the game, just... ...not really discussed too much. <laughs> Although I did uh, have heard of like some fanfics that are like... ...they're super duper heals, but they're so valuable you'd... ...like, uh, it depends, like... If you're out on a journey in a dungeon, you don't want to use them just for healing because they're so valuable. But then, like, if you're just training, because they're so potent, you can just go crazy and all out. So training sessions are just a lot more brutal because of just how potent the healing of Reviver Seeds are. I think is kind of interesting because if you had super duper healing seeds why wouldn't you go all out for training if you can just immediately undo the damage you dare come to die I shall vine with you, because I can. Oh, level up time for me! I can learn a new move. Leaf Tornado. So actually pretty decent starting damage. Could lower an enemy's accuracy. Do I want to keep growth? I, I keep forgetting to use it. And tackle is a nice type neutral to keep on me. Just look at the power and power points. Not to mention tackle is... We're not getting rid of tackle. Pursuit is nice to have for type advantages. But accuracy is low on this, but that can be fixed with... Uh, Blah, blah, blah. But again, growth. Hmm. It's just that I keep forgetting to use growth. And the damage seems to be pretty good for a leaf tornado. And it also has the ability of lowering enemy accuracy. We're getting rid of growth. thing I can do. Dang it. But then again, I also do have the, whatever it's called, the second chance skill, so technically having a low accuracy move thing isn't that bad, because it's more likely to hit the second time. 
And again, once we start leveling it up, it'll probably do decent. Again, this is such a cool mechanics they're throwing out here. Fun game. I still think that I would encourage like people to start with the rescue team game purely because like it's the simplest, so it might be nicer to begin with one that's I think it's easier to begin with, like, the simplest one. Doesn't have the most, like, uber-duber kind of story. And then you build up go-to explorers and gates to infinity and stuff. Because the problem is you can't really jump around the franchise without, like, uh, running into the gameplay issues because if you send someone to play like Explorers first because of the story and then you go send them to play or like a, I don't know I'm trying to give me a it's just that like this game so many quality of life improvements so nice but I think beginning people with like Rescue Team then Explorers just play them in order seems to be a good thing for me. I'm just, I'm just enjoying this. This is great. Growth. I have this. Leap tornado. For the power of the leaf tornado, you will die. It will blow away your home. I'm not afraid of your type advantage, but I am annoyed by your stealing, so die. I can abide by your assault, but thievery is worthy of the death penalty. Ooh, treasure chest! Yay! And Verizon leveled up. I do kind of miss the little, like, quotes that characters give when leveling up. Kind of miss that. So far, we're eight hours into, like, the uh, the gameplay of this mystery dungeon game. And I do have to say, this is a worthy entry so far. I highly doubt that it's going to just completely sink going forward. Like, I wonder if there's a game that's ever done that. That's ever been like, ooh, the first, like, half is amazing. The last half is horrible. I guess technically the original release of uh, Lord of the Rings Shadow of uh, Shadow of War. Ah, dang it. Because there was Shadow of Mordor, which introduced the Nemesis system. And then Shadow of War, which was strangled by Warner Brothers, I think, to be an utter microtransaction hell. And one of the things that they did... Uh, was really, like, because they tried to have loot boxes for Shadow of War, a single-player game, predominantly. The only multiplayer was, like, oh, you can go and fight other players like uh, Citadels randomly and fight the orcs they have. But it was just kind of a half-baked, like, system. 
They're like, oh, you get gear and orcs by buying loot boxes, and everybody hated it. It was so bad that they eventually just got rid of it entirely, and it became much better. The issue was that in the, like, late game post game, not really post game, it was like the fourth act of Shadow of War, before you got to see the true ending, uh, you had to go through an utter grind of like, ooh, fight this citadel siege, protect your citadel, and then it's just like again and again and again and again without any real story, just busy work, busy work, busy work. Oh, high level orcs are coming your way, and just turned it into an utter slog and grind, but they eventually, like, cut down on that in updates after they finally just like the people in the high high places were like oh i guess people aren't going to abide by our utter destruction of this good game hilariously once you removed all the microtransactions the game actually became good Funny how that continues to happen. It's just like, hey, this is a good game. And we're gonna ruin it with microtransactions. Then the moment they take out microtransactions, it becomes great. And they just keep on doing it. Now you need to start doing roll call for the six viewers that you always have. Yeah, I don't think so, because some people might want to be lurking, and I don't want to be like, ah, roll call. Eh, just let people be what they want to be. Frizzing off in the killing floors. We will take this rumor tag. No idea what it is. And we shall finish off the floor. But yeah, I don't really mind people to be here or not to be here. Plus, it kind of goes along with my, uh, like, methodology thing because uh, I do not really fret over, like, viewership like I used to. I just, like, cover up all, of, like, the view counters and stuff and then just go about my day. If people chat, I'll try to read and respond. Try not to push people, because lots of people might just want to lurk. Just listen. And if you, if you call them out... It's like, oh, hey, chatter, who's, like, person in chat who isn't chatting. Why don't you? It's just like, yeah, it kills the vibes. It's not something that's very nice. That's better, because you never know, because, like, there might be somebody who's a frequent chatter, but maybe one day they don't want to, like, post anything. They just want to sit back and listen. So I'm just here to play the game. If people want to send chats, I'll potentially read chats. Might not read all of them out loud. You never know. It's all just about here enjoying the game and having a fun time. Unless the game is mean to me, then I might rant and rave. Get angry in the moment, then reflect, eh, I was being kind of a dumbass. Huh, I really could have used that system the game gives you that I never touch. Da -da 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 -da. Huh, I just realized we haven't found the staircase yet. That's new. Usually we find it and then I have to really, really work to like go away from it and then come back. Hello, Blitzel. We are here to kill you. Aha, more dual trap leveling. And we shall escape. As per Veriz poor Verizian has just been burning this entire time. Huzzah! Thanks for getting the rumor tag. I'll give you this as a reward. 200 pokey, spring water, stone slab, and reviver seed. And 40 paradise points. Paradise rank has reached silver! Mwahaha! What's more, you've received a prize for the raising rank! Yay! Your bag can now hold up to 40 items! Hell yeah! 
Now you can build a new type of facility, the Quick Field. And now you can build the facility Sleep Field. You can now build the facility Warp Field. You can now build the facility Detour Gate. You can now build a new type of facility, the Fighting Dojo. You can now build a new type of facility, Flying Dojo. And you've received a Joy Seed, and Reviver Seeds, and a Water Gift, and Coalition Scarf, and five gold configures! Open now! I have so much gold! I am Fort Knox. Morning, Neon. Let's give it our all again today. We'll save, look at the various things we can do, and then we'll probably end stream because we've been going for four hours. Just, you, just so you know, game, I'm stopping because I want to, not because of you. And now we need a rich soil, but let's see. You can now view what materials are required to upgrade facilities. Ah, that's cool, thank you. Let's see, detour gate. Dungeons have secret detours where treasures await. This is a shop that tells you all sorts of things about them. As it gets upgraded, you'll be able to buy items to take detours too. So we need rich soil and precious branches. And then warp field is like, yeah, like you get a warp seed, a quick seed. Just the normal stuff. But very cool. Not sure how, like, how good a detour or gate is. Yeah, let's see, uh, for the... What was the one thing we wanted? An another... What was the one thing we wanted? I forget. Because we made our... Blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah! We were trying to get the for the next preparing land. I just looked at you. We just need a precious soil. Oh, yeah. Actually, we're going to go and look at our, like, items, because... that. What is that coalition scarf? Huh? Dunsparce? What is it? Look, Neon! Please come with me to Post Town right now! You can see the mirage from up on the hill! What? A mirage? You mean, like, when you see something in the air that isn't there? That's right! Apparently, this one can be seen from Post Town for the first... From time to time. But I heard from the others that it's really clear this time. The clearest it's ever been. Everyone else is already up on the hill. Ah, oh, cool. Well, of course we want to see it. Neon, let's go check it out. We're probably going to be teleported there. Yep. Whoa, look at how many Pokemon are here already. Ah, oh, you guys made it. It's over there. You can see it pretty clearly, huh? Whoa, it's beautiful. It's a huge mountain floating in the air. Yeah, it looks like a mound of pure white. What could it be? It's the Great Glacier in the north. The Great Glacier? There are huge glaciers that fill the ocean far in the north. I've only seen them myself from atop a mountain near the ocean side, but the magnificent sight of that huge glacier was truly awe-inspiring. That's amazing! I want to go see it, too! Yeah, sounds awesome! What kind of place would it be, the Great Glacier? It's kind of exciting, right? There are all kinds of rumors about what might be waiting there. Jewels made of ice, a legendary Great Crystal. But it's all just rumors and speculation, you know? Why is that? Because no one has ever gone to the Great Glacier. Or that's what they say. There are vast crevasses that make it impossible to reach the Great Glacier. And because that mysteriosity is so great there, the crevasses change unpredictably, and no one can even map them. If you try to fly over the crevasses to get there, a freezing wind pushes you back. That bad, huh? I guess there's no way we could make it someplace like that. Not how we are now. But I still want to go there someday. To the Great Glacier. Yes! <laughs> and that's right. We've got to keep training and get stronger. Come on, let's get to work. The mirage looks really amazingly clear today. The Great Glacier. The Great Glacier! 
It sure gives you a thrill of adventure, so I'm curious myself, but there's really no way someone like me'd make it there. It feels kind of mysterious, right, Granddad? I'm kind of excited. Och, merry little little pup. Take in all you see and fear from it. Remember all you feel. Then you'll be grown enough to talk to everyone again. I want to go too, to the Great Glacier. We're gonna have to give it our all to reach the gr gr that Great Glacier too. I suppose it would be nice to go to the Great Glacier. Can you please stop tr uh, throwing light spoilers in chat, please? Did you see the mirage? It's rare to be able to see that far and so clearly, too. We've really got to train if we want to get stronger. Let's blast through some more requests today. Again, request singular. I saw it too, I did. Yes! The gold exchange is open! Yes! Do I have any boxes? No boxes in there. And we have some boxes and a watery gift. Let's deposit. Let's see. Uh, health up. Want a skate orb. Ba, ba, ba. Yep. Levels up the Pokemon. Let's put that away. Up, up. Don't think I need that many. Da, da, da. And what is a coalition scarf? Makes it easier to use a team attack. That's cool. Very cool. Do you have anything to say about the uh, the Mirage? The Mirage does seem pretty magical, don't you agree? And all, all he has to say, it is pretty sweet. <laughs> Incinerate. I don't think we have anybody that can use that move. Actually, Amolga might be able to use Aerial Ice. If only I knew, like, its power. <laughs> you gotta fight Antarctica. The whole country. I mean, there. I don't even think do, people don't live there regularly, so it wouldn't be that hard unless it was like a giant golem. Chinchio seems a bit bothered for a while now. I wonder if there's something on her sweet mind. I'm the box buster. Open up my boxes. All right, watch this. Woo! And another gold bar. Kafagris, you better just have the greatest things. I have so much gold. Herdier and Lillipup are the duck trio and Diglett of this game. I, I, I didn't think about that. That's kind of cute. All right, watch this. Woo! It's, it's just hilarious that... The, and another gold ribbon. This guy just... I love that this guy is like, Hey, bring a box, pay me, I'll destroy the box and let you keep what's inside. And he does it purely because he likes bashing boxes. I just think that's funny. Yes, gold. Actually, yeah, I should probably make like a reviver seed. Or I don't think I can make a reviver seed one, but like the other plant of uh, seeds, I should probably make one. Did you go to have uh, like a the? Uh, I need to make more like seed plant areas. Because once I get one, I can then start harvesting them all, make a whole industry. Did you go have a look at the mirage? I heard you can see it especially clearly today. I want to see it so badly, I can barely stand it, but I just reopened the store, so... I'll resist the urge to run off and see it. Oh, that's sad. I mean, everybody else is up there. Why not go see him? Go see it. I think at a really high rank you can make reviver fields. Neat. Everyone's off to see the Mirage, I'm afraid. Looks like today will be slow for business. But you have to have times like this, too. I like Swana. She's sweet. But now, Confagrius, 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 Confagrius. Oh, hey, and you. Well, first things first, what's you? I have kept you waiting for far too long. At last. At last the day is here. The store has been opened again at last. Glorious! I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Welcome to Glorious Gold! My gold bar exchange. Adventure hint! Trade gold bars here. You can trade them to get loads of pokey, or you can trade them for amazing items. Come here to trade once you have a few gold bars. 
Exchange any sparklies you've got right here. Yes, glorious sparklies. Here's what I got. A tough flag? It sometimes helps nearby teammates endure critical hits. Being next to the holder makes you survive even if you take a critical hit, but has no effect on the holder. Huh. Insomnia flag, clarity flag, cheering flag, immunity flag, resilient flag. Oh, uh, prize tickets? <laughs> to, enables you to draw out the prize palace. That's funny. The various keys. A joy seed. Accuracy manual, power manual, PowerPoint manual. And TMs. Dragon tail. There's... Oh, energy ball is grass, I think. I was gonna say. So that's kind of cute that there's one for each one. Blizzard, presumably for Oshawott. Thunder for Pikachu. Axew. Snivy. And then Tepic. Interesting. So let's see. What's for money? Oh, it doesn't tell me how much you'll sell for. Gold bars. They're just glorious. Oh, yes. Glorious. I just lose control of myself when I catch a glimpse of the glorious sparklies. So that's why I've set up a shop here. Bring any gold bars you find in Dungeons and you can exchange them with me for a pokey and items. <laughs> I only buy the sparklies, though. You can't pay me any amount of to get me to sell. I'll never ever give up my glorious sparkly gold bars. Never. <laughs> Definitely interesting. Like, I guess the manuals might be nice, but at the same time, these TMs, though. And then I guess when I get the prize palace, these might be nice. And again, you can just buy joy seeds if you really are desperate. The flags are interesting, but they need to be held by a Pokemon, so I don't think I'd get them. I'm disappointed that you're not as amazing as I thought you'd be. We'll go ahead and train his uh, dual chop. And then we'll probably end. The next time we'll work towards being able to blah 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 do stuff. Huzzah, grew a little bit. That's all for today. Yeah, I really like this game. Just very, very fun. Okay, we'll deposit. And we'll save. And actually, you know what I just realized? We didn't have a boss fight. We went for four hours, no boss fights. <laughs> See everyone on Wednesday at 4 slash 5. Yeah, because freaking daylight savings time. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for joining me here today in this fun, fun time. Because again, I, uh, this is really fun. I really like it. I, this is very fun. It's so interesting. Building up paradise getting materials to build up paradise and like the different shops the characters i really really like it and again hilarious that we went through two bosses last stream and then no bosses the second stream that's hilarious <laughs> he comes back in super and you can buy five revivers for one bar and permanent stab boosters Ooh, can't wait for that but yes but yes Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, Neon Icy Wings, my link tree, linktr.ee slash Neon Icy Wings, or a direct link in the various link places, bios, and descriptions of the internet, has links to all the different things I do, like edited YouTube content, my live streams on Twitch or YouTube, the VODs slash videos of those streams uploaded to the stream YouTube channel also exists. So if you want to catch up on my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon adventures or other games I've played, you can go there. I also post art to various art sites linked in my link tree. I need to draw more. I did post my GTI team art to the various sites because I, I like how it turned out. And ba ba ba. 
Other things in my link tree are my writing. I'm continuing to whittle away at the various stories I am posting. And links to the like sites that I post stories to is in my link tree. So if you want to read the various things and the inevitable deluge of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon stories I might post one day, they're all there. And then, of course, finally is my Patreon, which is just a little the, the donation jar for people who want to be exceptionally kind. So if you want to be kind and help me survive the evils of the world and you're in a good enough place to do so, you can throw some dollary dues there. But yes, but yes, I am trying to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, which might be uh, different for you now because daylight savings time happened. Bliggity blue. <laughs> I don't even know. The world is weird. I don't fully understand daylight savings time. <laughs> but either way, next time we will continue. Try to get, uh, open up another section of paradise with the Diddly D Creek and see what's open there. And just have more fun! Because this is the type of game where I think I could play like the, like, uh, buh, buh, buh. The go out and do things just casually because they serve purpose progress. It's nice. It's cool. This is very fun. But thank you again for watching, everybody, and I hope to jo you all join me next time as well. But remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind. Thank you, everybody, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.